crossroads is the perfect spot for an ambush. The enemy will certainly be covering the main road. Okay, so we have a small mixed force at our disposal for this mission. I'm just going to have a quick look around the map from overhead view. This is using the uh, experimental map cam. We call it the experimental map camera. It's an optional setting um, that allows you to transition into a fully overhead mode if you so wish at full zoom out and into a very low angle camera when you fully zoom in as well. The reason we call it the experimental camera and that it's not on by default is simply because uh, quite a few of the UI elements within game uh, are not designed to work from this angle. So uh, it's good for uh, it's good for screenshots. Good for screenshots, uh, but not for actual gameplay. No, screenshot mode there. Okay, let's see what we have. We are looking at yes, uh, infantry group. The infantry groups in this mission are small. There are yes, only sir. three or four Receiving. men each. Um, we spread them out a little bit more. In most of gameplay, you'll find that infantry groups tend to be tend to be five men strong. We have Receiving. Sherman Mark II. Yes, another sir. Sherman Mark II. Another Receiving. Sherman Mark II. Using the marks here, yes, the British, British designations for these Sherman tanks, and the Mark II is a cast hull version, um, which is the cheapest version available um, to the Commonwealth forces in game. Cast hull version, it still has um, some of the early design defects that made it a little bit vulnerable to bursting into flame on penetrations, but it is the cheapest, and as you can see, it still has its advantages. Sherman's particularly good at firing on the move. Um, and they benefit from a high explosive bonus for their shell from that medium velocity 75mm gun. We also have a universal yes, carrier that's carrying an extra uh, Bren, extra Bren team, two man Bren team, reporting. and we have a Stuart here, Stuart Mark III, for reconnaissance duty. The map, no specific objectives on this map, it's simply find the enemy and cause enough casualties to them that they retreat by reducing their morale to zero. Their player morale, my, my morale in this mission is nine. Uh, I'm not, you can choose to see what the enemy's morale is if you so wish. I'm going to play without that. Uh, I'm going to have to just fight them to a standstill and hope that I win. So without further ado, I'm going to send this steward here. We're going to open his hatches up. I'm just going to turn those confirmation pop-ups off because it slows things down a little and I know what I'm doing. Game options, confirmation pop-ups off. Don't turn to get Okay. Reporting. I'm going to send this Stuart over to the right. That's where he can go. See the preview of his movement. I'm not going to send him straight down this main road because it's blocked by some tank obstacles here and I have a feeling this is intersection is going to be well covered. So we're going to send him Reporting. off to the right. Moving out. Right. So immediately he's come across the road and out here. He's lost this little eye icon here, which indicates that the unit is hidden. Again, this is an optional feature. You can turn it on or off in the settings. I like to play with it on. It's a little bit of a cheat, not particularly realistic, but it does make a slightly better game. And we can see that this unit here has lost his eye icon, which means that at some point whilst making that move, the enemy spotted him uh, and they are aware of where he is. Yes, sir. Let's move some of these infantry up. On our way. Click to skip movement any time to speed things up. Receiving. That's what I'm going to be doing. On the move. Receiving. Some infantry up to the hedge. On the move. I can't quite yes, sir. make it. Oh, this universal carrier, he can make it all the way up to the hedge. On our way. Now, the Universal Carrier, I'm playing with the uh, tabletop bockage rules on. There's two rule sets that the player can choose. Uh, the AI will adapt, depending on exactly which the player wants to use, around line of sight being blocked by these tall bockage cages or not. I'm going to use the line of sight tool here to illustrate what I mean. Uh, with the bockage tabletop li line of sight rules on, as I currently have, the line of sight is uh, blocked by these tall hedges apart from to the tile just behind. If I were to uh, check the same line of sight, so basically if I were to chase, check the same line of sight from this unit which is right up against the hedge, I'd be able to see that they have 
a line of sight through the Bokash hedge here, both for spotting and for attacking purposes. Um, they can shoot all the way through. Return fire is possible. The purple indicates that it's partially obscured line of sight. That's be not because of this hedge, it's because of the lower hedge. If I do the same test line of sight from over here, you can see that there is line of sight through the hedge to the depth of only, only the tiles just behind it, but not all the way over here. This is a low hedge. It provides a gap in the line of sight. So this chap can actually see through this hedge now. Um, he still hasn't been spotted because it's almost impossible to do to spot any unit through these tall hedges um, from distance. Right, let's move yes, this infantry up as well. On our way. Receiving. On the move. Receiving. On the move. On the way up. None of those chaps have been spotted. Uh, Receiving. We'll take one tank off to the left. On the move. He has been spotted. Tanks are much easier to spot when moving than infantry are, so he could have been spotted by an enemy unit quite some distance away. Uh, but there's not much line of sight through this. through this. So there's either someone in this orchard, or this building, or possibly, yeah, over in this. So there's someone either here, here, or here. As we can see there's no one over here, I think. Yeah, there's no one over there. Okay, yes, sir. chap. I'm going to open this fellow's hatches. It improves his spotting ability and his accuracy on, on repeat shots. Move him up. I'm going to send this Reporting. chap off to the right to follow the steward. And he's been spotted as well. Okay, so they've spotted the tanks on our right and left, but they still haven't got much of an idea about what's in the middle. Okay, 18 turns remaining. This is a 20 turn scenario. It's rare that a scenario will go all the way down to the turn limit unless it's particularly desperate or slow. Um, right, let's continue this trap over here. He's been seen. I don't really want to keep him still. I suspect he's been seen by someone over here. So I'm going to run him all the way across to the right. And he open his hatches. Run him all the way across as far as I can as well. Both fast moving, that means if someone does want to take a shot at them, uh, they'll be more difficult to hit than they otherwise would be. So, with any luck, we could loop around behind this building before any threats over here start shooting at us. And move this fellow up to the hedge so that he can have a look through. Yeah, he'll see anyone coming down the road. These chaps are going to join him. These fellows are going to hop across here into the road, take a bit of a chance. Okay, they've, they've been spotted by someone. Mm. Possibly in that building? Yeah, they might have been spotted by... Mm, might have been spotted by in that building. There'll be someone in there, I'm sure. Uh, or... Or there's someone down this road, or in this building. Yeah, anywhere here. Would have seen him as well. Okay. They confirm my suspicion there's someone over here. Yes, sir. Receiving. Um, Yes, this is the machine gun team. Can I move them way. up? This I've got Overwatch, which is also optional. I've got Overwatch turned on, interrupting fire during the post opposition turn. Units that are uh, eligible for Overwatch fire retain their Thunderbolt icon, and you can actually see what area they're capable, of, whatever what tiles they're capable of covering with their Overwatch fire during the enemy's turn. Uh, we'll move them up as well. Let's go all the way over here. Ah, and. Yeah, okay. Overwatch fire from the building. Oop, ouch. Right, okay. I lost, I think, two chaps there. But we have revealed that there's some enemy infantry in this building. Just a small team of three, no machine gun. Just a normal infantry team. And I have a Sherman right here. I'm not going to open the hatches because I'm a bit close and I'm worried about small arms fire. Heavy weapons like tank, uh, turret mounted cannon need to be aimed actively before they can fire. They have to fix, uh, a, they have to, the gun has to be laid, they have to be fixed on a specific location. I'm going to do that there. And you can see here, if I were to make the attack now, this is the chance that I'd have. I have five chances. The um, combination of a coaxial machine gun and high explosive shell from a Sherman, which has a rather good high explosive shell. Um, 
uh, equates to the equivalent of five attack chances, and this will be at 12%. Of a ch each one will be at 12% chance to cause a casualty. There's a breakdown over here of exactly what's involved in this. The default hit chance for an attack is 100%. It's then modified by range, target size, cover, things like that. Uh, and the how much the unit has moved or turned the turret before having done so. Uh, I've got very good steadiness here. We can see I lost very little through aiming. It's minus 20% 20% cover for the building, another 20% for the half cover on the way to the building. It's a very small target, there's only three gentlemen, and the target is still in ambush. Ambush is a status that is given to any unit um, for one turn after it is uh, revealed, after it's initially revealed. Uh, this unit revealed itself by opening fire, but that was only on the last turn. So they still have uh, ambush status at the moment. Makes them 20% more difficult to hit just for a single turn. It basically reflects the... Uh, it reflects units trying to actually acquire the target. A, a newly acquired target, they're trying to figure out exactly where this unit is for a turn. But uh, at this range, and the fact that they're in a building, which would usually be heavy cover, more like 60%, but because we're firing a high explosive shell at short range, that's reduced down to 20%. It doesn't afford very much cover. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's a terrible result. Cause no casualties whatsoever, but 30% suppression. You can see the steadiness bar here above this unit has um, been reduced by 30%. That means for their own turn, when they come to fire at me, their reduction in steadiness from that suppression will mean that their fire is 30% less accurate. So without actually causing any damage, you can put a lot of fire onto a unit and reduce its effective ability to return fire next turn, even if you don't cause any casualties. It's also a bit of smoke here now uh, on this tile left over uh, from the impact. So let's just, I'm not going to cause any damage with them, but let's yes, add some suppression with this, br with this Bren team here. Any more? No suppression caused, unfortunately. Yes, sir. Um, let's get around to their right. I can't advance them because the hedge is in the way. Turn them a little and then scoot them all the way around the corner. Yes, and obviously he's been seen, but he's quick moving. Receiving. These chaps, let's get them over. On the move. They can fire next turn. Yes, sir. These fellas have already moved. Receiving. These fellas have already moved. They've already moved. This yes, tank sir. here, I'm going to hold him in reserve because. I know the enemy has some heavier units, and I don't really want to expose too many tanks at once. Yes, so, sir. if I can pull him up to here without him getting revealed, that'd be wonderful. If I move him five, that'll be the end of his turn. If I move him four, he can move again. He still hasn't been seen there. So maybe one more? Still hasn't been seen. Okay, they have no idea where he is. That's good. Right. Enemy turn. What are we looking at? Ooh, he hasn't retreated. That's bold. He's aware that there's three infantry units to his front, a universal carrier off to his flank, and a tank shooting at him, but he's decided not to retreat. Uh, the AI settings in these early uh, missions are a little easier, so they will do occasionally do things like that. Right, well, let's punish them for that. I firing second shot at the same location. Um, the fact that that gives me a same target bonus, heavy weapons like this, once they've been laid on a location they fire repeat shots at one, uh, at one target tile, their chance of uh, causing damage goes up dramatically each turn. In fact, if I open his hatches, it will go up even more next turn. Let's finish him off. Right. Uh, one of them's still surviving. Yes, sir. Right, well, let's put some more fire on him. Three smoke in a building, no suppression caused. Receiving. I think this guy can be a bit of a hero. Three. If I get that close to him to throw a grenade, that'll be the end of his turn. So. I'm going to risk it anyway. Going to go over here. On the move. Receiving. At the same time, we charge him through here. On the move. Uh, next turn, those two will be able to close in and finish him off. If he's still alive. Yes, sir. In fact, I'll put some machine gun fire from this. Just 10% suppression. Well, it all helps. That suppression is sufficient that he'll be very, very. His return fire will be very ineffective. So, on that note, I'm going to run this chap up here. To there. And I'm going to drop off another. Dismount the other 
friend team. I don't think they have any grenades, but they can storm in and fire from the hip next turn. Yes, sir. He's still fine. Yes, sir. He seems okay. Let's move him this way as well. This seems like a good seems like a good Receiving. location. These fellows. I'm gonna move them through. On the move. Ah, uh, they've been seen. But that's probably by this unit here. Okay. What about over on our right flank? Reporting. Stuart. Zoom ahead. Moving out. Oh, and Reporting. followed by Moving out. See if anything else gets revealed. Okay, I got an MG42 in that building. This fellow has finally decided that discretion is the better part of valor, and is looking to make his escape through the orchard. Okay, well let's deal with this fellow. This chap was the first to take some. Uh, was the first to take casualties from this fellow when he was ambushed behind this hedge. Let's see if he can. There's only one man. One man. Single shot. 74%. Avenge your comrades. No, missed. Right. What about yes, our sir. friends with the LNG team? Let's get them into this what building. Have them fire. Ah, Bren gun doing the job. Super. Yes, sir. Um. Let's do a bit of reconnaissance with this carrier. On our way. Move him off into the. Receiving. You. Up towards this woodland. No one's fired from here yet, so I don't think. On the move. I think we're probably safe over there. And yes, sir. Follow up with the Esmeralda team as well. On our All way. right. So we're going infantry yes, on the left. On our way. Infantry on the left, stay in reserve. This fellow took a pounding. I'm going to move him back behind the hedge. He's not going to be able to deal with that machine gun. Reporting. But maybe he can. Reporting. Can I see him from here? Not quite. Not quite. Not, uh, where can I see him from? There. There. I can see him from there. Reporting. Okay. Moving out. Turn this vehicle around. Move him to Moving here. Out. And with the next turn, we'll have a go at them. Reporting. You can continue running this way. Let's see if you can spot anything. Moving out. Okay, Enemy what have we got? Spotted. Oh. Okay. We've got a Sturmgeschütz here. It's a long 75mm. It will make absolute mincemeat of that, Stuart. In fact, it'll make absolute mincemeat of any of these tanks. None of these have any armour that's going to be able to realistically stand up to a hit from that. Um. He's finished his movement now. There's not much I can do. Let's have a quick look. Gee. Aim penalty for moving. Has no turret. So if I can circle him, he's going to find it rather difficult to get a shot at me. He prefers firing at longer range. Okay. Okay. A little worried about these two now. That's um, that's that's dangerous. Maybe yes, I need to bring another tank over there. Is there anywhere I can get a line of sight on him from? Here. But that's okay. Maybe yes, I can sir. do that. Can I get this guy? Yeah, I can get him all the way over. He won't be able to do anything else this turn. In we go. Wait, what was that? Oh, hello. So there's a 50 millimeter. Is that a little 50 millimeter? Yeah, it's the little one, the 50 millimeter. Okay, it's still pretty dangerous, um, but I have a small chance of being able. I might be able to bounce if I have my front armor facing him of a Sherman. He's gonna. He'll make mince meat of the Stuart, but a Sherman might be able to. Ooh, has he got a shot on? Yeah, he does. Okay, I'm gonna gonna pay for that. Receiving. Any way this chap can get line of sight on either of them. I move him up to here, he can fire across. Yeah, if I get him up into here, he can fire Receiving. across to the right. Not ne not next turn, probably, but okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I left the hatches open. Uh, they're firing through the hedge to try and hurt the crew. Oh. Okay, there's a machine gun over here as well. 
Oh, he's gonna have a. F Ooh. Okay. So this is. Uh, oh. So we did a bit of a broken action cam there, looking through a tree. Well, yes, as I suspected, 75 of that Stug made short work of the Stuart. That's annoying. Yeah, this is a morale fight. So you see my, my morale has dropped now to 7 from a starting of 9. If it gets to 0, I lose, regardless of any other factor. If your force morale gets to 0, your faction loses. Um, I lost 2 because they took out this they took out this um, Stuart over here, which combined with its crew, who have a separate morale value, uh, was a total of 2. But I do know where the Stug is. Reporting. Right. You. Who can you aim at? I think you... Yes, sir. You that. Okay. I need to turn my front armor to face this way. Or I need to get out of the way. They missed the first shot just because they were firing through a hedge. Um, but they won't miss again if I stay where I am. My front armor is facing this way. So... I'll rotate. Front armor's facing him. Fire the Hull MG through, see if we can put some suppression on him. I won't do any damage, but I might be able to... Nope, no suppression. Alright, aim. Yeah. Minimal chance to hit, because I rotated the tank all the way around. It's a difficult shot. Through a hedge. Through this hedge. Across there, across a wall. But, if I get anywhere close to him, I might be able to put some suppression on, which will make the chances of him being successful to turn fire less. Now that was a horror... Oh, no! There we are, 20% suppression. Okay, well, worth it then. Right. Receiving. Where this chap is, can he hit anyone? Yes, he can. He can also hit this, and he can hit that chap. Let's put a shot on. 45% chance to land a hit on here. Not a good shot, just another 10%, but he'll be, he'll be worried. So he's already open. Tired. Just get the third shot on him. I think I'm firing through the smoke now. I'm not. Just missed the smoke, but still only 31. More difficult shot, come on. And another miss. Another 10% suppression. So, we put a lot of shells on him without actually causing any damage yet. But next turn, he can't move, really. Well, he's unlikely to move unless they pack up the gun. Um, one of these will finish him off. Right. Yes, sir. This chap here. I don't think he can see me through the orchard. Yes, right. sir. Oh, no. What if I go... There, 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 there. I can shoot him from there. From there. Okay, good. On our way. And get some shots on him. Again, I've moved a long way, so it's unlikely to do anything except suppression. Yep, and some suppression, but that will do. Yes, in the sir. meantime, this fellow, Receiving. get in here where he can't hit you. Yes, sir. And also, get over there. On our way. Yes, sir. Can you fire back? You can't. Ah, oh, you'll get over there as well. All way. of you run over into the woodland. Receiving. Yes, sir. I think you can follow him through the orchard. Yeah, on our way. through the orchard. You, you're on your own. If I lose you, I'm going to lose another morale point. So I'm going to keep you towards the back. I don't really see much much benefit in getting you up close involved uh, against an MG42 team. Where are they? Yes, hiding under that tree. Okay. You similarly can stay. Receiving. I don't even know this chap's here. I'm going to leave him here until this is dealt with, and then we'll we'll slink him up the road. Okay. What have we got here? Oh, machine gun's now firing. Oh, that is. Ah, uh, it's a Panzer Shrek. And the 50's gonna fire again. Yes! It hit the turret, but it bounced off. I knew I could have a decent chance of shrugging off a, a little 50 millimeter. I was a little bit lucky, he hit the turret. There's good armor on the front of the turret of that. If he'd hit my tracks like the Panzer Shrink did. Over here, how much damage did he do? Oof. Got a few bits knocked off. Receiving. Right, no crew casualties, but damaged tracks. That's it. Oh, and I lost. He's a bit slower, because his tracks are damaged, that's all. Ah, oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. Let's put some machine gun fire on him. 
to no avail. Um, actually, why am I even bothering? Let's just run up and grenade him. Oh, can you sh can you hit him from there? Only four percent. Run up, throw a grenade. Run up, grenade. Ten percent suppression. Terrible yes, throw. Terrible yes, throw. Sir. Do you chaps have grenades? Yes, you do. You run up and throw yours as well. Is that one? Two of them. Second grenade was much better. Took out the pair of them. Okay, wonderful. Yes, sir. You... Can you fire at this? You can. No, ah, put some fire on that. And... Oh, you got one. Well done. Yes, sir. Right. Uh... On Just a bit of run and gun. It's not going to do any damage. But... A little bit closer. Cause some suppression. Yes, sir. Move up. And a bit more suppression. Oh, oh. They've probably got grenades. A German German MG team will probably have grenades. I don't want to get too close. They drop a grenade in the top of that, and it'll be game over. Yeah, nothing. Right. Receiving. Follow up. On the move. Receiving. And 55 chance to hit. Yes, sir. 45 percent chance to hit. That's because he would have had a wonderful shot, but the shell that bounced off the front of the turret has thrown his aim off. About you, 81%. Although this, I'm a little worried about this Stug coming round his flank. <coughs> Excuse me. The Stug. Hmm. Stug's not very good at moving and firing on the same turn. I doubt he can move. He also doesn't have a turret, so he's going to have to turn his whole hull to get a shot. I don't think he can do that in a single turn. Do I want to waste? I think this guy's pretty safe now. Receiving. Yeah, let's finish this gun off. 81% chance. 81%. Come on. Oh my god, he missed. Ah, oh, RNG. Okay. You yes, have a go as well. Ah, now that did do some damage. He's fully suppressed, so he can't fire back, and I think he lost two crew? There's another two left. Alright, so he's considerably less dangerous than he was. Receiving. You... Can you hit the other machine gun? I'd quite like to get some infantry up there. Yeah, okay. Aim at the machine gunner. I've swapped targets now, and I'm firing through smoke, so I'm not going to have much of a chance, but I just want them to be a bit suppressed before I bought the thing. 10%. Not very much. Not very much. Yes, you've already fired, you've already fired. I think that's all I can do. Hmm. Okay. Gonna run away? Yeah, I would if I were you. They're coming for you through the woods and you know it. What's he doing? Oh, he's not going for the Sherman. What's he doing? Oh, is he aiming across? Oh, no. Yeah, bad. They're bad at um, bad at moving and firing in the same turn. So he was not going to make that shot. But I didn't realise he could even see this unit from there. But he can. Cheeky. Okay, so he's got to move. <laughs> we have to move him. He won't miss again. Reporting. You finished that. Ooh, I can threaten his side. I retreat one, two tiles. I could get a shot at him. Okay. Alright. Okay, yes, sir. 90%. Come on. Do, do your job. Oh, actually, hang on. Hang on. A cotton picking minute. Oh, no. They can't see each other. Okay, good. Yes, Go sir. Side. And there he goes. So the gun is actually still intact, but the crew are all dead. Okay. Okay. Well, that's it's, it's still a good result. Let's see. One, two. Moving out. Reverse. Turret. Oh, that's not bad. These Shermans, they're pretty good at moving and aiming. They've got a stabilized gun. Good turret. That's, I think that's worth a go. It's worth a go. Oh, yes. Through the side. Nice flat hit. The side armor of Stux isn't very good anyway. Front armor is pretty good, but the side is not. What did that do? 
Where did that hit? Log. Hit the side. So it did actually hit... Yeah, okay. Just hit the side. It wasn't a track hit. So he's lost most of his movement. Uh, he's still dangerous. His gun's still fine. I think all of his crew are still alive. I think. Yeah. His crew's all still alive. Um, but that's good because Stugs have to turn there in the whole hull in order to bring, bring the gun to bear. So the less he can move, the less he can shoot. Uh, but, 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 but. Still a machine gun there. He is Receiving. still threatened by him. He might just take the shots and he won't miss again. So where if I move him forward a bit? How good a line of sight does he have? Oh, I can literally move just one tile. And he can't see me anymore. Okay. There we are. Fire another shot into that building. Oh, lots of suppression, but still no casualties. Right. Yes, sir. Let's finish this. Chase him down. One of them. We'll follow that. On our way. To the head. Yes, sir. Run all the way up. Receiving. On the move. Run yes, sir. Fellows. Run. That's still On inside the woods. That's not. That is. On the move. Yes, sir. On our way. All the way up there. Okay. And not going to bring him out yet. This machine gun will just take him out on the road, even suppressed. I wouldn't want that expose my chaps to that. Okay, I'm just to see what this guy does. Oh. Okay, so some more infantry behind that hedge. Okay, and here. Running out into the road. Where are they going? Oh, they're coming over to counter this. You, my friend, I know what you're thinking. You are hoping to get out of the line of sight of some of these. It's not going to work. Yeah, he's turning, but that's it. So he had... He, there was enough suppression. He probably... He's turned far enough there to get his gun on me. Even with his damaged... Lost movement points. He's turned enough to get a shot onto me, but he took so much suppression from um, from the penetration that he, he ran out of steadiness and couldn't fire. So I'm going to follow up. With now, because my chance to hit is over 100% now, I get to choose where to hit him. There's not very many good choices. He doesn't have a turret to aim for. Um, and I can't really aim for the tracks because if that is, will not kill him. And he's already aimed at me. So I have to go for the hull. His front, his hull armor is quite good. Here we are. Let's see what happens. Come on. Oh, it went through. And killed. He's still not taken. Oh, he's very nearly taken out. His gun's damaged. Two of his crew are dead, and he can barely move. I would be very surprised. He's completely suppressed as well, 100%, which means he can't do anything next turn at all. So he's not a threat. I'll hit him again next turn. Yes, sir. Uh, no point aiming at him anymore because he's empty. But can the hull machine? Hull machine gun can. Put some shots into there. Bit of suppression. No. What about? And the tank gun itself. So much smoke here now that any shot is very, very difficult to actually land where you need it. Receiving. Ooh, except for this chap here who has a little shot between the smoke clouds. Bye bye. That's more like it. One casualty, 20%. Suppression. So, yeah, loads of suppression. He's, he's not much danger. He might run away. Yes, sir. Um, See that? Yeah. Right, let's just turn this chap around. On our way. And fire. Ooh, with them or at them? Let's take this guy out. Oh. Night unite. That's another one eliminated. Yes, sir. Uh, you just put some fire on him. Right behind the hedge. Is there another machine gun here? Yes, sir. Yeah, another Bren team. No, can't see him. Can't see him. See him from there? He can. Receiving. This guy's only one. I'm going to retreat him. On the move. Because I don't want to lose morale. Yes, sir. You might be able to get far enough forward that he can't. Yes, you can. Up here. Ooh, maybe not. On our way. I think he can still hit me. Yeah, he can. Damn. Let's put yes, some sir. more fire on him. On our way. One. Some more fire on him. 20%. 
Eh, well, he's a bit suppressed. Receiving. Yeah, you may as well come up to the hedge. The I don't move. think there's any danger over here. Unless there's something lurking in there. But we're a fair distance away. It's going well. This tank is going good. Receiving. You stay where you Receiving. are. Is it time? No, those two, I don't want to get them in the open yet. Maybe over here? No, no, we'll wait. Now, in terms of suppression. Where is he going? Oh, okay, yeah, he's coming across to help his friend. Yeah, he's getting out of that window. He doesn't want another shell coming through. I don't blame him. Okay, what are we on? Turn 9. So, approaching the halfway point. I think we will be done in two turns, two or three turns, I reckon I can win this. First of all, let's get a follow-up shot over here. Now his gun is out of action and he can barely move. If I, any armoured vehicle, if it can neither move nor fire, is counted as a knockout. So I can hit him on the tracks now, hopefully, for two damage. I don't have to worry about this frontal armour, I'll hit him on the tracks and that should be the end of him. Unless I'm very unlucky. Tracks. Yeah, there he goes. He's knocked out. It's the end of one stone because that's going to be a lot of morale loss for them. Yeah, the that's enough. enough and are retreating to fight another day. I was hoping they'd show a little more backbone, to be honest. So there we are. A victory in nine turns. Seven morale left. That is a pretty good performance, even for me. I don't usually do as well on this mission. Uh, I lost 12 chaps, one tank, um, they lost 17 chaps, and yeah, a fair few individual units including both the pack and the stoke. We have a bit of a look on the battlefields. Oh, hello! There was actually an infantry group hiding in this barn that didn't attack anyone because it was all tanks over here and there's not much they could do about it. They were, it's a good job I didn't drive right up to the barn, if I'd got right up to them they would have, um, swarmed him. If I'd had my hatches open, that could have been nasty. Okay, clever, yeah. There's not much they could have done over here. If they tried to run across the open ground, the tanks would have gun gunned them down. And they didn't have any weaponry that could really hurt a tank at range. Well, nothing that could hurt a tank at range. Anything else? This infantry we knew about, and that's all they had. That's all they had. Okay. Let's try something. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Let's try something a little more advanced. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Should I play as the Germans? Uh, these are probably a little too long. I know which one I'll play. I'll play as the Brits again. I'm going to play lessons from the east. We started. This Lessons from the East is, um, I see the loading times are much quicker after the first one. Um, Canadian progress has stalled, but in the centre a single salient protrudes into the German held territory. All their units engaged, the SS must launch their newly arrived armour straight into action to deal with the threat. With little inventory support, can German tanks must rely on their new machines to batter the Canadians into submission. Lessons from the East. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got? Okay, this is a bigger map. It's much, much larger than Crossroads. Um, and as you can see, considerably more built up. Uh, the actual engagement on which... On which this... Uh, the actual historical engagement on which this level is based uh, actually happened at night. Um, and it was the first engagement, I believe, where the um, allies came across a panther, which, hence the name of the um, hence the name of the level Lessons from the East. Those of you who know your tank history will understand that one. Um, these were not Panther A's; they were actually Panther G's, mainly of the 12th SS. That had just arrived, and in the middle of the night, they were thrown pretty much straight down this road into the town in an attempt to overwhelm Canadian infantry that were 
that were that, that had taken the t taken the village. Um, it did not go well in reality uh, for the Germans. But let's see if I can emulate the real world, real life success of the Canadians. What have we got here? So it's a long linear village, lots of buildings either side of the main road, which is two tiles wide. Fields on either side. The enemy is going to be okay. The enemy can. They're not just coming straight down the road. They can come from the sides as well. Okay, so I can't line all my defenses up. This level has um, objective locations, which I have to hold, and the Germans have to try and take. Have a look at the mini map. You can see the top-down view, a small top-down view of the entire map, with the green dots being the locations of my units and the green flags being uh, marking the center of each of the objective zones. If I select a unit, uh, yes, this one here, and go to relocate, this is the deployment screen, go to relocate, uh, I can actually see that the um, boundaries of the various objective zones actually shows up. You can see, so there's one all the way out here, this is the memorial graveyard. This is the first one that they're likely to be able to envelop. There's another one here, one in the center, two over this side of the road, and two at the back here. Um, okay, so where am I going to put? I'm not. I'm going to select a different unit. What have we got? Receiving. We got a six pounder AT gun. Receiving. We got two six pounder anti tank guns. Ah, yes, we don't have any tanks, but we do have two three inch yes, self propelled sir. guns. These are what were commonly known um, after the commonly known after the war to Americans as Wolverines, but it's not, not, not actually a term used in period yes, sir. By, either, by either Americans or British, as far as I'm aware. Um, here's yes, the sir. other one. Okay, so by default these guys are holding the flanks at the back. I don't think we can leave them there. I'm confident of my ability to spot anyone coming around my flanks. I'm going to yes, leave sir. this chap. Where to? Just here, I think. Maybe one back? Maybe here. Yeah. He can see over here. Keep an eye out. If he needs to, he can fire this way. It's mainly over there. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we'll keep yes, it. Sir. Uh, this anti tank gun. He, ha he can see down the street and over here. I'm going to move him over a little bit to the right. Or should we move him all the way up here? Should we get him a bit closer? I'm going to put him here in the orchard. He'll be quite difficult to spot, and he can fire across over here. Don't think he can fire into the main street though without moving him. Oh, he can. There's a little bit of a... he's got a bit of a... so he can fire across to there. I can move him if I need be. Six pounders can be moved around by their crews. Not quickly, but they can if need be. This AC gun over here... that's a pretty good position. That's pretty good. I don't feel the need to move that. I think he can stay there. Receiving. Uh, this infantry group I'm going to put the normal infantry towards... Ah, here we are. This Bren group. Yes, sir. You can cover... Go in this barn and cover this whole big cornfield. Because if I were the Germans, I would be sneaking my way through here. So, I'm going to have Bren here. This chap. Hide there. In case any tanks, anything rolls straight down the street. Yes, sir. This Bren gun, he's got some pretty good position there. But he's a bit vulnerable through this through that. So, with that in mind, let's move him into this building. And he can keep an eye on this woodland in case anyone tries to sneak in. Leave him on overwatch. Glenn Carrier. He's just a mobile machine gun, really, isn't he, at this point? Let's put him over here. Maybe a bit further back. He can stay in reserve in case we need to rapidly deploy a machine gun somewhere. Receiving. We can use that. He's empty. He's not carrying anything. He's just an empty carrier. He's going to be. He's going to be battle taxi. What else have we got? That's that. Oh, a yes, Piat team. My favourite. My absolute favourite unit. The Piat team. It is not a good anti-tank weapon. It's not bad, but it's not a patch on the German equivalents. However, yes, sir. there are a lot of them. So, I think I only get one this mission, but a lot of them show up later, so we'll have a Piat team. Piat, 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 Piat. Should we just cover the main street? Should we just put him here? I mean, if anybody does, I, want, I really want him to be doing side shots, though. We know that Panthers are coming. 
I don't think a Piot's going to do much against the front of a Panther, so I need to put him somewhere where he can get shot at the side. Let's put him in here, along with this, this chap. Yes, okay. That's, I like that. We have two Receiving. units that can be deployed. Oh, three units. Yes, Another Piot team. Ah, excellent. Okay. Yes, and this is a forward deployment Piot team. He has more deployment options than normal. He's uh, effectively... Receiving. They cost yes, a little sir. more, Receiving. but they yes, can. They have more deployment Receiving. options. If I go to this pier yes, team sir. here, he can only deploy in this area. If I take this pier team here, yes, sir. he has many more options all the way forward, including all the way up here. Mm, should we put, put him in here? No. He's just going to get surrounded, isn't he? Let's, we'll move him over by the road, though. Over by the road. Receiving. And let's leave this. No, I'm going to put an infantry group all the way up here. They may have to retreat, but I want the eyes. I want to be able to see. I want to be able to see what's coming. Um, anything else? Where's that other M10? Should we leave him in reserve, or should we? I'm going to cover this flank over here. Uh, he doesn't have many deployment options. If I put him here, though. I can turn and have a look over here if need be. Let's just rotate him. There we are. Yes. Yes. It's a decent gun, that. 70... There's a 3-inch gun. Uh, an old 3-inch. I think it was a naval gun. It's better than the 75 on the Sherman, but not as good as uh, Pack 40 or something like that. But might have a small chance of damaging Panther from the front. Maybe. Very slow turrets, these things. Very slow. Only two two gunnery points. Yes, he almost, despite the fact they do have a turret, it was only manual traverse, so very slow. You basically have to turn the... Right, okay, let's go. Let's see what they've got. What are they going to bring? I can already hear tanks. And here we are. Yep, yeah, and it's a panther. And he's just going to come straight down the road. Oh, he's not coming straight down the road. Interesting. Overwatch! With the six pounder anti tank gun, chance to hit is only 20%. He's quite a long way off and moving down the road. I don't want them to know where my six pounder is, so I'm not going to fire yet. I'm going to ignore that. Apologies if it's stuttering a little bit. I've got OBS running at the same time, and this is a backup machine. Uh, okay, some infantry. Only four. You'd usually expect. Panzer Grenadiers to be... The enemy tanks have little in the way of infantry ah. support. Use this to your advantage. Ah, well, there you are. Listen to Captain Clippy, as we call him, and the team. So, it looks like the German infantry support is running depleted teams. You see, all my fellows are yes, five strong, apart from the peer team, obviously. Most of my Receiving. infantry groups are five strong, two of them to a section. Receiving. Um, We've only seen one enemy so far, and there are only four, so we can expect the infantry to be light. We have a Panther G. Is it a G or an A? It is... A G, I think. I think it's a G. Yeah, it's a G. Oh, I can check. Haha. <laughs> yes, it's a G. Okay, you see, excellent, excellent stats, these, these Panthers. Um... Yeah. And smoke grenades. Slow reverse. Okay. Don't know if that'll be of any use to me. Right, he's coming down the road. Do I need to... Okay, so if he's coming down... I don't have anything covering the main road directly. But their frontal armor is so good, I don't think it's even worth getting into a standoff fight. From I'm going to lure them in and then hit them from the side. I think it's the only way and hope that they don't take too many. I've got to hold five out of... One, two, three, four, five, out of seven. Got to hold five out of seven. So I can't lose three. I can lose two, but I can't lose three. All right, let's see what they've got. What I'm going to do. I'm in defense, so I have to... Not an awful lot to do until the... Okay, we've got another panther. Looks like... Also a... G? Maybe not. I'll look in a minute. That's the G. Okay. Right. Peer team. Peer team 
Overwatch attack. Now, I may as well take this because next turn I'm going to fire the pit team at him anyway. If I fire now, I get two shots. I get one in Overwatch and then I get one on my own turn because he didn't move, so he's just been sitting there waiting for a panther to come by. I don't like my chances at the angle, but I might get a hit on the side. But the angle is... Well, let's give it a go. Oh, hello. Good hit. Nicely done. Advanced peer team. Uh, ah, okay, so that tank spotted my infantry on the way past. So I'm going to have to retreat these guys. If they stay there, they're going to get surrounded. Yeah, in they come. I'm trying to get up on my peer team. What's he going to do? Is he, he's already moved. I just heard another tank somewhere. Hmm, okay. Anything over here? No. It's not like on the map. No. I haven't spotted anything. Okay. It's a little bit worried. Receiving. Well, let's take aim with this six pounder. Receiving. We don't have to. F oh, he's been spotted. Who spotted him? Who spotted my. There's someone in this field. I didn't fire him. There's no way any of these guys over here spotted him at that range in an orchard. Someone is much, much closer. They're here. They're here. They wouldn't have been able to see him through... No, they wouldn't have spotted him from here. He's showing up in purple, which is um, partially obscured. It means he's in some kind of cover. There's no way... If a tank had been over here, I would have spotted it. So it's infantry that's over here. And... They wouldn't have... Infantry haven't gotten... Unless it's an officer or a sniper. An officer or a sniper could have spotted him from over here. But a normal infantry team could have spotted him from here. Or there. Or here. So there are some in, there are some enemy infantry here somewhere. And they've spotted my anti-tank gun. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Uh, and I haven't spotted them. Yes, sir. You see, this this icon here, this hidden icon, uh, is a feature I like to have on because it allows me to do assessment like that. If you want to be more realistic about it, you can turn that off so you never get that flag. It is the more realistic way to play, but I quite like it. It's good for illustrative purposes. Okay, so, I'm going to fire again, yes, or do I run away? Do I run away? Because yes, I've put a shot on him. I haven't actually damaged him. I haven't damaged him. Interesting. Suppressed, he killed a crew, a crew casualty. There was a crew casualty. So, he was suppressed and there was a crew casualty. Uh, but he is going to fire back because that was on his own turn, so the suppression is gone. Now, his hatches are closed. This tank, like if I fire the Piat at him again, this tank is going to murder that Piat team. Next turn. Yes, sir. Where can I move him? I can't move him anywhere where he w he can't get hurt by that. So I might as well fire again. Yes, sir. Come on, heroic Piat team, and now you missed. Ugh. Okay, that's not gone well. You do have to retreat because they've, the tank saw you. So, over here? Let's go over here. Let's move you out and try and get you out of harm's way. Receiving. You have been spotted, so something is going to shoot at you soon. But, I can get a flat hit, flat shot at the front of this, or a shot at the side of this. Two. Aim at him. Oh, he's in smoke, isn't he? He's in too much smoke. No, don't don't aim at him. Aim at him. That's much better. 42%. Right. Uh, I did have to aim twice, which is annoying. But 42% chance to hit. Six-pounder is a pretty good anti-tank gun. It's a small shell, but it's good, good penetrative power. But I don't think it's going to hurt the front of a another Panther G. They have really, really strong armor on the front of the hull, and it's pretty strong on the front of the turret as well. The only advantage is the the, the is they have this 
rounded gun mantle, which leaves a shot trap underneath. If I can put a shell into that shot trap or hit him in the tracks, yeah, let's, let's, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Oh, we're just gonna miss. Just gonna miss. Right, you are gonna have to move. If you survive the next turn, you're gonna have to move. Anybody over here? Nothing over here. No one spotted him. Receiving. Mm. Shall I go into? This is still mine. So no one's in these woods contesting this. That one is now contested, obviously. Um, yes, sir. I don't trust this at all. Can he see through? Maybe from there. A couple of lines of sight. What about up here? The alternative is I bring him down. Ah! Right. Where was that? Where was that? Where was that? Here? Yes. Yes. Go back to there. Now turn to face this way. We're going to set up an ambush. We're going to have you fire through here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay there. You stay there. Yeah. What else? I actually didn't. Uh, uh, ooh! I didn't spot that. I've got some tank hunters. Good penetration power of a hundred. Okay, well let's get them. Let's get them down onto the road. Let's get them out of the church. They're useless in the church. Uh, okay. Right. What have we got? Yeah. Oh, he's not gonna. He's fired at the anti. Fired at the six pounder. And is he gonna fire back? Yeah. Okay. Lots of suppression, but he didn't actually hurt any hurt them. No, he's gone with the smoke. And he's gonna back up. That actually works in our favour. Because I think that smoke is gonna might block the other Panther as shot as well. These guys are coming in. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ouch. Wow. Okay. I was worried that the Panther was gonna take these guys out. But it turns out. Oh, and there is a gun there. Yeah, I knew just something was going to take out that. I knew something was going to take that out. And there's another panther. So that's four panthers that we know of. I don't know where this guy's been. He's decided he wants to come down the road too. Yeesh. Okay. Well. They're not making much headway, are we? That's, uh, I still don't know he's there. There's no one in these. They haven't got any. Inf I don't think they have much infantry at all. I don't. You just get over here. Just try and get out of the way. That's a Panther A. That's this one. That is also an A. Okay, so we've got two Gs, two As. There's little to choose between them, to be honest. Receiving. And not much else. I think this guy might be wasted over here. Now that we've lost this one. Is it actually destroyed? Yeah, it is destroyed. Okay. Receiving. I might. Yes, sir. He's gonna just fire at us at long range, isn't he? But he hasn't got much to fire at. Let's. Let's go all the way over here. On the move. Try. He's still not spotted, so this is good. If I can set up behind this hedge here, or maybe here, I can try and get a shot across. If I get spotted, I'm going to have to run away because uh, I can't. I can't try and slug it out with a panther with my M10. It's just not going to work. Uh, yes, sir. You. There's not much over here. I can just come around behind this building. Just hide here. I want you a bit closer, just in case. So they all seem to be in the middle. I don't think they're using the flanks very much. I mean, they've got a panther over here, but I haven't seen anything on this flank whatsoever. No one's over here. No one seems to be in these woods either. Okay, so where are they? And we haven't seen any sign of the infantry that we know we're in that cornfield. Maybe I was wrong. They might be still sneaking through them. Alright. 
they're all coming down the main... No, they're not. Yeah, he moved too much and he's firing through smoke. Okay. He's coming back into the fray. We know he's lost a man. He's one man down. Oh, he's just coming straight down the street. Okay. Piat team on Overwatch. Piat team on Overwatch. 29%. I think we wait. I don't think that's a good enough shot. I think we, we could get closer. Hmm. Let's try it. Sod it. Was that a hit? I think he missed. Oh, and the return. He's missing a crewman, so he's, he's operates operates a little slower than he otherwise would. Are these guys coming? Okay. Yeah, they're coming in behind the tanks. Uh, I... 20, 20, 20. Yeah, I could do some damage. I could do some damage. Come on. Two of them. Two of them down. What's this guy doing? Yeah, he's coming along. Okay. Right, so this guy's gonna... Where's he? Machine gun fire? Yeah. And... Where's he sh oh, he's trying to take these guys out. Eesh, lost a dude. Okay. Okay. There are some pants going to here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So there are some guys sneaking through this field. And he... Not that it really matters to me. He has a Panzerfaust. Uh, pa pa yeah, he has a Panzerfaust. That's what that little P there means. Hmm. Okay. So they do have some force on the left. I think there's more infantry still hiding in these but there can't be because they never have they, had, they didn't spot him they would have spotted him moving all right let's let's just post right, let's yes, post sir. up here in ambush position and aim we have a nice big 50 cal machine gun on this as well a little big pintle 50 cal so if there are any infantry Although, I don't like the idea of that Panzerfaust, but he's miles away. Um, there are any infantry, I can blat away at them with um, with the 50 cal as well. Hopefully, stop them getting too close. Uh, that 3% chance is definitely not worth firing, so you just stay there. Stay there, build, an, build, an, build another turn yes, of aiming. There's bugger all happening over here, isn't there? Absolutely nothing. So I'm going to move this anti-tank gun. I'm going to move this um, anti-tank gun. I'm going to pack him up. I'm going to move him in here. We'll try and maybe set him up here? He's set up here. I can fire through this gap in case that guy... I, d I think he's going to come past before I manage it. Where's my tank hunter crew? These guys are in the street. Come on, tank hunters. Run run around here. And get you nice and close. If he comes any further forwards, I'm going to stick a gammon bomb to him. Yes, sir. Right, he's been revealed, and there's a load of tanks, so if he stays there, he's going to get absolutely done. Should we just annoy this guy? Should we just throw some grenades at him? Let's just throw some grenades at him from above. His hatches are closed, so it's not likely to do much. Except annoy him. Top of the hull. Oh my god! That is outrageously lucky. Absolute hero. Drops his hand drops hand grenades out of the window. Onto this guy's engine deck. I. That is extraordinarily lucky. <laughs> okay. Yes, Piet. Um, no. Okay. But they know where the Piet is. I'll leave him there. It's okay. Receiving. Uh, he's fine. A little bit worried about what's going on over here. Should I get him into the main street? Just covering down. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Where are yes, you? Sir. Come here. Yeah, around the corner. Right there. Yeah. And just aim straight down the street. Oh. Okay. Aim at that panther. It's not an easy shot. He's got a. He's not blocked by smoke, but he can't fire this turn. That's not worth firing at 30%. Actually, it is worth firing at 30%. He's already been spotted. Let's fire away. Come on. Let's see if they've got another hero. 
I'm not sure that panther can turn a man fire and have any chance of hitting in one turn, so I'll retreat him if he, if he comes for me. They've got nothing, have they? They haven't even taken this one yet. Right, Receiving. you are in a bit of trouble. So... I might just run you back along here and hope that these guys don't shoot you. If you stay here, you're going to die. Unless I move you back in here? Let's get you in here. Hide in that corner. Okay. Excellent. My morale is only six. That's not very much. Ooh, battle taxi! Receiving. Let's get you over here. On the move. Maybe you can help these guys out. Run out and go out and get them. Okay, what do we got? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, well, that was lucky. Maybe the smoke. Yeah, he's turning to face the M10. Yeah, his whole machine gun fire on him for suppression. Is he going to aim at him as well? I'm assuming he is. Yeah, is he going to fire? He missed. He missed. Trying to fire through the smoke of his burning friend. Okay. Yeah, they're coming over to, towards the corner. Yeah, they don't have much infantry at all. What are you doing? Oh, he's, ret he's retreating. Mm. Oh, okay, he's going to fire at them through the hedge. Okay, this guy's coming over to the centre as well. Everybody's just loving the main road. Where are you going? You're coming backwards. Oh, he's, he's going to take care of them. Maybe they've abandoned this. Maybe they are all coming down the middle. Yes, sir. You, my hidden M10, have been aiming at this panther for a while. 98% chance of a hit. And the foolish man has turned his turret to the side. If I wait one more turn, I will have accurate aim and I will be able to choose to hit him in the turret and it will definitely go through. But if I also if I wait another turn, he the only way he's going to stay where he is is if he has someone to shoot at. So I have to sacrifice someone if I... 98%, I'm definitely going to hit him. But if it hits the front hull, it's probably just going to bounce off. Ah, oh, let's just hope. Hope for the best. Hope for the turret hit. Nope. Hit the front. Bounced off. It's, it's not well, he's going to be annoyed. You yes, can take a shot. 95%, but again it's on the front. And he's aiming back already. If I don't do some serious damage with this hit, his return shot is going to end me. Sorry, you, you can't slug it out. You've had your shot. You can't slug it out with a panther. You'll lose. Come back. Maybe, maybe he'll come forward. Receiving. Him over. On the move. Get this Receiving. guy into this building. On the move. Yeah. In case anyone else comes down the street. These chaps are going to try and preserve because they took out a panther all on their own, which is awesome. Uh, I don't want them to die now. I'm going to reduce the back of the building. Yes, sir. Piet. I quite like the Piet covering this area. It's quite good. And he's alright covering the back. This anti tank gun. Oh, it's set up now. Yeah, he's set up. He's ready to go. I won't get Overwatch this turn, but next turn I will. Okay. I'm confident. Although my morale is still low. They've killed... What did they take out? Uh, it was that they took out an anti-tank gun. And a couple of infantry, I think. Yeah. You don't get much morale as the Canadians in this. Whereas the enemy get quite a lot. Oh, he's just coming straight through to... I should have moved him away! Ah. Uh, now they're all gonna... Okay, a bit more infantry. Turn fire from the whole machine gun. Is he going to aim as well? I don't think. Yeah, he's going to aim round. Can he take the shot? Yeah, he can. Okay. Yeah, I'm not staying there. <coughs> I, ca 
cannot afford. Okay, they're all just coming down the main road, aren't they? Come on. Maybe I'll back off and let them come all the way down the road and just go with the gammon bombs and pierce. That's what the Canadians did in, in real life, so let's... Uh, yeah, they're coming for me. Okay, so I'm going to lose this. I'm, I'm probably going to lose this infantry team. I don't think there's anywhere I can go. Receiving. Just aim across the road. Stay on Overwatch. You yes, sir. Stay at the back. You Receiving. Stay there. Where's Receiving. My, these guys. Receiving. These guys actually have anti-tank charges, so on the move. moving through the buildings. You, yes, sir. My hero. Maybe. Oh, hello. His hatches are open. Foolish, foolish panther. Foolish panther commander has his hatches open. Yes, sir. Can I get up to him? Can I fire at him from here? Firing down on a vehicle with open hatches at close range is very effective indeed. Yes, I can hit him. Ha <laughs> ha! On our way. Over. Bren team. Firing down from the window into the open hatches. That's one, two. Two of them dead and 60% suppression. Two crew down. Foolish Panther. Receiving. Uh, I'm going to gung ho it. I'm going to try and get this battle taxi out to uh, rescue them. Come on. He's pretty quick. On the move. All the way. And he's a small target. I don't think anyone will hit him. Maybe we can pick these Receiving. guys up. Now, what should I do? Should I come through this hedge and attack them? If I stay here, that Panther is going to Receiving. do me. His hatches are open as well. I could fire at him. But I'm not firing down. I don't think it would do much. Receiving. I need to preserve these people, ideally. Let's go backwards. Let's run past them. On the move. All the way over here. Can they hit me? Yeah, no, neither of them can. Okay, good. Run, 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 run. Self-preservation until the yes, battle taxi turns up. Uh, yes, sir. You now have accurate aim. But he's turned to face me. Right. So, I can choose where to hit him. No point aiming at the front of his hull. We already know that I haven't got the penetration to go through it, really. If I hit the turret, I might get lucky and get the underside of the, uh, of the gun mantle and get a shot trap. I might get lucky. But if I don't, his next return shot is going to kill me. Uh, is there anywhere I can actually go to hide? Yeah, I can get behind this building, I can get behind this. Maybe I'll just go over here. I'm just gonna go over here. I don't think he can't he can't hit me, can he? No. No, he can't hit me. Okay. This is I know, it's not very brave, it's a little bit cowardly, but M10s are not designed to stand and slug it out with with medium heavy tanks. Um Where are their infant is that is, do they really have no more infantry? I'm really concerned that they're hiding more somewhere. I know the briefing said there wasn't much, but there's been hardly any. A team here. One, two, three, four. Four teams. I think that could be it, you know. Maybe it's all tanks. Come on, step into my ambush. Step into my ambush zone. Oh, shit. Bit of machine gun fire. But it's alright. Oh, he's, he's going to shoot at the carrier. Sorry, brave carrier. It, it was a little bit... It was brave of you to try. Oh, no. no what's this? Oh, he has a line of sight over there. I checked the wrong panther. And he hit him. They're being very cautious with their, with their infantry. Very cautious indeed. So I don't think they have much. No way am I opening fire at that range. Wait till you come across this field. Absolutely not. Okay, well, they've taken their first objective. It took them long enough. What are these chaps going to do? Oh, he's decided... Interesting choice. Yeah, he's backing up. He's lost two crew, but he doesn't like the look of it. Okay. Okay. That's it. Well, that's bad. Yes, sir. That's very bad. Lots of damage. Two crew dead. Lots of damage to the engine and some damage to the turret ring as well. So I am he is basically useless unless I repair him. And I don't think I can move him far enough. 
Well, who shot him? It was one of these two. It was this guy, wasn't it? Nope, wasn't that guy. Who was it? Is it you? No. Who shot him? Hang on a, hang on a moment. What is going on? That is a bug. That is a non-mutual, non-mutual tile. No one has line of sight to him. He's not aiming at him. He's not aiming at him. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. What have we got here? It was a Panther G early that shot him. And was this this turn just gone, wasn't it? Or am I being insane? It wasn't him. Oh, was it him? I think it was him. Nope, it wasn't him. It was one of these two. Oh, his mates moved in the way. Ah, that's why he fired and then this guy retreated. I think that's what's happened. Yeah, that's what's happened. His own friend has blocked the shot. Okay, well that's good. That's good, his retreating friend has blocked the shot, but where can I move? I can barely move anywhere. I can barely move anywhere. I'm gonna get shot again. Maybe if I move here, uh, I can't repair if I do that. Someone is going to take another shot at me, I think. This guy? He doesn't actually have a shot. I might be okay yes, for sir. a turn. Let's repair. I'm going to repair. I can't repair the gun. But I can repair movement. Let's repair movement. So he'll be out for a turn while they do some field repairs. They can't restore all of the repair all of the damage, but I might get a little bit back, a little bit back. Because at the moment yes, I can sir. barely move. Oh no, but he's got two crew down. Yes, so he'll be even slower. Oh, that was a waste of time. Okay, never mind. Right. What have we got here? Yes, sir. These guys have shut their hatches. He's going to move to the back of the building way. again. Receiving. Yes, These guys are going to stay hidden. Receiving. I think their attack has stalled out. Where's my other M10 here? Yeah. Yes, sir. Should I get him round the corner again to look down the street? These guys aren't paying attention. I reckon we can do this again. On the move. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty percent. You see, if they were sensible, one of them would have gone on Overwatch, aiming down the street, and then I wouldn't have been able to pop back around the corner. But they were distracted by the other M10, and they have moved. Fire! Up. Go on, M10. And it's a knockout. Got him. That's how you do it. Was that? Where did it hit him? Where did it hit him? Oh, I've left. I want to know where that happened. Turret side. Yep, he turned his turret that way. And the shell came down the road, squeezed between the house and this burning panther, and hit him in the side of the turret, straight through. Another panther bites the dust. Well done. Well done, M10. Well done. Bravo. Receiving. Okay. You. What Receiving. Do you do? Are they still coming for you? Or, hmm, where have their infantry gone? They had an infantry team here. Didn't they? Where are they? Let's On the move. Wait here until they turn up again. All right. All right. This is going well. Oh no! Panthers just decided. Where are you going, Mr. Panther? Hmm. I think he's a bit confused. Okay. Now they're coming very slowly into the woodland. Okay. Well, that's a nasty surprise for you on the other side. Where are you going? You're coming out into the right. Okay. They're not having much luck with their tanks, so they're going to send in some infantry. What's this chap? Oh, no! Yeah. Whoops. I forgot about him. Coming down the street, are you, my friend? Oh, you're just going to hide behind your friend. Have you got your hatches open? Have you got your hatches open? 
No. So, this hero yes, brain team. I could go and throw a grenade again, I suppose. I don't count, I don't think my chances are very good doing damage a second time. I think that was a bit of luck. So, yes, sir. But these guys are coming in now, so I'm going to move them to the corner. Oh, no what was that? I just spotted something. What was it? Interesting. There's another infantry team back here. Hmm. I wonder what they're up to. Receiving. You're healing. Oh, you're repairing. You're fine. You're fine. Yes, sir. You. Hmm. It's Overwatch down the street. Let's aim down this line. If he comes around, he'll be able to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You need to Receiving. run away. You need to run away. On the move. We've lost this. Now this is contested, but I think it's only contested because of this chap. Receiving. Yeah, I think it's just that chap. Got here. What are you going to do? Where are you going? Are you coming back to get. Yeah, he's decided to come finish off my little infantry team. What are you doing? You're going into the woodland. You're skirting away from that building. Hmm. No, not with the Piet. Not with the Piet. What are you doing? You're being very cautious. Uh, I think I'm going to lose him to... And this fellow is... Here, here he comes! Foolish man! I was waiting for you. Waiting for you, I say. Oh, he missed. That's not good. Peer team? Yes, peer team! It's a hit. It's damage. Suppression. Yes. Alright, that's good. Are my anti-tank team, my tank destroyer team, tank hunter team, are they close enough? No, they're not close enough. Receiving. If I run them out, I'm just going to move them to the end. You, my patient ambush team, are going to slaughter these poor fools. Yeah, that's three down. We'll be finishing you off shortly. They've yes, apparently sir. forgotten that you're here, so I don't think he can do much about them. Can he hit them? No, he can't. But this chap must be able to. Well, he will do if they come any closer. Yes, sir. Come back across the building On our way. and finish this chap off. There he goes. This guy's quite badly. Damaged. Yeah, he's going to be really slow now. The Piet hit him yes, hard. And I think we can hit him again. Oh, actually. Yes, sir. Do you want to hit him? Do you want a chance at the front? A shot at the front? Yes, be brave. Be brave, M10. I believe in you. You missed again? Wow, you are, you are not having a good day. Yes, sir. You have a bit more movement now, but not a lot. I think he's forgotten you're here. He has forgotten you're here. Come on, Dave. Yes! I'm gonna have another shot at this chap if he doesn't move soon. And he seems Receiving. keen on... Mm. How can I go? They're really worried about this fellow. He's occupying two tanks over here that really... But I don't know for how long. I just need to get out of line of sight of this chap. But that will bring me. I'm just going to keep running away. Just going to keep. Just going to keep running. Over here. I'm going to keep running. Hopefully, I can stay alive. Uh, this guy is aiming. He is done. Uh, let's fire the peers again. Let's fire the peer at him again. Ambush time. It's a hit. Just a load of suppression. Didn't actually go through. But he's not going to be doing much with that level of suppression, which means I can hit him again with the M10 next turn. Yes. Yes, it's all coming together. Right. What's he doing? 
He's found someone else to aim at, apparently. Over, I smell Overwatch. <laughs> Good night. Just one? Just one. Okay. They have an MG42. Okay, he's coming to get me. This, these chaps are going to finish me off eventually. Oh, if this guy doesn't. Or he's going to do it. Fine. Wait, what? Ah, yeah. He got hit. That pit hit rattled him too much, so he missed. But will he miss again? No, he won't miss again. So... Receiving. Can't get close enough to attack him this turn. I'm going to wait just in case he tries to go further down the street. The thing about the Peart is, if I yes, keep sir. firing Peart at him, you see he's, he's smoke, he's got smoke all over him now. Which makes it very hard for the M10 to hit him. Because he can't see what's going on. Yes, sir. 59. Let's fire the M10 first. M10 first. Come on. Alright, you are just useless. I know it's smoky, but that's three shots you've missed. Yes, sir. Peart, show him how it's done. Is that a hit? I don't think it was. I think he missed as well. Too much smoke there now. I can't see what the hell's going on. Yes, sir. There's not much I can do here. He's dead. Their morale is four. That is not high at all. Yes, sir. You turn Another around move. and aim at this guy. I'm not going to fire this turn. I'm not going to fire. He is distracted, or he was distracted, shooting at this fellow, but he's he's gone now, so. You're okay. You're okay. Receiving. Finish off these guys because they're idiots. Good night. Do I get that back? Interesting. I haven't got that back. There's someone else in the area. Yes, sir. Where does it extend to? There, so there's someone else. Someone else is here. Someone else is here contesting the space, so they do have more infantry. Potentially. They haven't hooked around. These are still both mine. Nobody's made it. We blocked off. They had a bit of a push this way, but we blocked it off. I don't think they've sent anybody to the right. They seem to be mainly down the middle. Alright, what are they going to do now? He's just... Oh, he's going for that Brent team in the house. Okay. He's coming back. Yeah. He's... Who are you aiming at? Oh, right, that house. Yeah, okay, we need to move. No, miss. Yes. This is a bit of a duel in this street, and neither of them have managed to land a hit yet. But yeah, he can't stay where he is. If he does, I'll... Shall I run? Receiving. No. Receiving. Yeah. You get I'll out of the way, or this tank will, tank will put another shell in the window and you'll be dead. Can you hit this yes, panther? 100% chance to hit. Let's go for it. Try again. Boom. Out across the field. Only bounced again. The front armor on these panthers is just. Unless you hit. The, unless I hit the turret, that's never going through. I hit that guy's turret. This guy went out to a grenade. Yes, sir. Piet, come on, do your thing. I trust you. That's a hit. No damage. No damage. Anti tank gun, can you? Can I move you a little bit? Can I move you just a tiny, tiny bit? Like here? On the move. On the move. Can't set you up again. But. Oh, I still can't see. Receiving. Damn it. Okay, where can I see him from? One more. One more. Receiving. Okay, go for it. Go for it. On the move. Okay, he's done. He's done. Still someone out in there. Yes, you sir. cannot stay there. You're going to be in trouble if you do get to the back of the building. Yes, sir. Okay, and the M10. Yes, sir. 
We're going to continue to fire. We're going to continue to trade shots down the street. See if this M10 can ever land one through the smoke. Oh, he did. And the front of the turret. That one's gone through. And it went through. And he's completely suppressed. I'm going to finish him off. He's receiving, receiving. He cannot hit me because he's completely suppressed. I'm going to run my tank hunters up to him and finish the job next turn. I hope they don't get gunned down by one of these tanks on the flanks. Yes, sir. You're fine. Although, can you move to the back? I just want to just check there's no one back there. You stay on Overwatch because there's some sneaky, sneaky devil in this wood. I think. I think it's almost over. I don't think they can last much longer. Short of a, a lucky couple of kills, I think I've got this one in the bag. Ooh, only one. Okay, okay. Yeah, machine gun fire back. He's just just trying to put your head down. Is he gonna? Yeah. Okay. Well. No. 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 Oof. gun's gone. His gun is taken out. That hit on the turret. So he's basically harmless unless he can get a repair in. And I'm not going to give him time to get a repair in. Uh, I'm not going to leave these guys here though because we know that they're vulnerable to attack from this chap. So we're going to move them over a little bit. And then we're going to get some AT charges on this panther and we're going to block the road completely. On the hull I think. So it's a good night, Mr. Panther. That's got to be a win. Come on. No, nope, still going. Well, I suppose they've got two tanks left. The road is now blocked. They've lost three Panthers on the main road. Have they lost any anywhere else? No, they've still got two on the left. Yes, sir. Okay. So this, this is this is the moment of truth. I can choose to hit him in the turret. I've bounced two shots off his hull already, but a front hit to the turret, as we've seen over there, with this three-inch gun, has a chance, yes, and I have accurate aim now, so I'm going to try it. Come on, be a hero. Look at that. That's got to be a win. They've got to pull out now. The enemy have had yes. enough and are retreating to fight another day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a win. 16 losses. I was lucky to lucky to get away with um, keeping that M10. Uh, so there's a lesson here. If you're dealing with Panthers, aim for the turret. It's still very good armor, but if you have a heavy anti-tank gun, you have a chance of going through. Let's see what, if they did have anything else lying around. Oh, wow. I did not spot those at all. They had a pair of, they had a, a, a Panzer Grenadier squad, depleted Panzer Grenadier squad here, probably heading this way. Interesting. This guy we know was at the back. He was he was faffing around a little bit. Yeah, they had an, another infantry team in this wood as well. Okay, so they did have a bit more, but we slowed them up over here. I think having this um. Having this this chap here, this this infantry group in their rear, confuse their attack on the left. These guys never even made it into the fight. And it looks like they were heading back. Looks like they were heading back this way. Which is interesting. Yeah, not enough infantry. They were trying to do it with tanks. A good German perspective. 
I'll play a skirmish mission. Okay. I'm going to illustrate the skirmish mission here. I'm going to play a relatively small mission in the remaining time. I'm going to play uh, the no further scenario. I'm going to play it uh, and the regular way I'm going to play as German. Fighting. No, I'm going to play it reversed. I'll play it as Germans. So this is a map um, from the early story missions. Um, the scenario is called No Further, um, but it's been adapted for use in Skirmish. I've actually rotated it by 90 degrees and set it up for a Skirmish battle. Now in Skirmish, um, the scenario is usually broadly the same as it is in story uh, mode. It's um, modified slightly. Sometimes, like this one, has been modified into a meeting engagement. There's no attack and defense. This is a flat meeting engagement in this map. Um, but we can pick the weather, or we can pick the difficulty. I'm going to make it hard because I know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to use a medium force size, um, which is actually quite a lot for this map, but we shall see. Uh, enemy restrictions. Enemy will be an armored division, airborne, special service brigade, infantry division with infantry tanks or armor own. I'm going I'm to go all the way over to. I'm just going to leave it unrestricted. They can bring whatever they like. Um, we're going to fight in. Should we fight at night? Or during a storm? Or in the fog? No, not in the fog. That's that's a little bit too much. Let's fight at sunset. Yeah, okay. A little bit, little bit dim. A little bit dark. Long shadows. Okay, and we're going to select a random force for me to play with. You can select your own. I'm going to show you the selection interface now. Um, you select your force via a card system. Uh, for instance, if I were to take this SS Panzergrenadier platoon here. That gives me a core setup of four infantry groups, so two infantry sections, and that allows me to tag on other units to it. I have to pay for all of them, they all have a cost. Current group cost is 330, I have 1770 with which to buy the force. It might be a little bit too big for this map, but we'll see. Uh, I can have a command group, I can have a command group with the Fanatics bonus to give me extra morale, uh, b -b 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 snipers, mortars. Yeah. Similarly with um, tanks, select additional tanks to add on to the, including some, yes, a tiger here, excellent. But I'm going to uh, do this at random, I'm not going to select my own force, I'm going to have the game randomize a force and I'm going to play with whatever they give me. So unless it's really boring. Ooh. SS Pioneer section, SS Veteran section with a medium machine gun team. That's got a flamethrower. A Jag Panther Zug with three Jag Panthers, a Scout half track, and a uh, Quad Flak half track. That's uh, I really like that. It's an absolute glass cannon. Um, it could be taken out by small arms fire, but if you're expose any infantry near it, it absolutely decimates them. And just a regular infantry platoon with the motto. Alright, yeah, let's have it. Yeah. Okay, so it's a small map. We're going to be fighting in quite a tight space. It's uh, There's only four objectives, um, but in such a tight space, really it's going to be a question of uh, just destroying one another. Um, there is a built-up area in the middle, and some woodland it's slightly closer to the enemy, so they're probably going to get into the building's quicker than I am, but I have some orchards to work with on this side, and I have a road if I really want to get there quickly. Okay, do you have a mortar? I don't. Oh, I do. I have an eight-inch mortar, uh, uh, an eight-centimeter mortar. That's good. Okay, mortars can can fire blind, but they are much better if they can see their target or see the area where their target is. Um, but. They don't have to do it directly. If you have an HQ unit, or any unit with these binoculars, they can spot on behalf of the mortar team. So I'm going to put him... I'm going to leave him... 
Let me put him here. I'm immediately going to run him forward into this building where he can oversee most of this and I can leave the mortar hiding safely at the back. Sort of, yeah, over, over here is fine where no one can really see him. And he can uh, take instructions on where to fire from the other chap. What have we got here? MMG team. Right. Marder. Marder, Marder, Marder. Let's leave you here. Let's put you in the middle. You haven't got much armor. Wait, where am I? Oh, my Jagdpanthers are reinforcements. I thought that was a bit too expensive. So, the Jagdpanthers, I don't get to start with. They won't turn up until turn 8. Um, so I have to not get too badly beaten by a large enemy force until turn 8. And on turn 8, I will get three Jagdpanthers and their supporting units to come and help me. Which should hopefully turn the tide in a fight that I will probably be losing by that point. Uh, infantry down the side? Yeah. No. Do I have... I haven't got anything quick. I haven't got anything quick. Okay, this martyr's got to move. Where do I need the martyr to cover? Hmm. That's difficult. This is going to be very difficult. Ah, the sniper team. Who can start there? Can I move them anywhere else? Sniper team can start all the way anywhere up to here. Let's get the sniper team into one of these buildings early on. Okay, begin. spot anything at all but they have taken this objective so they've just gone straight forward into these into these buildings and I can hear some engines this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a tactic rather than um, actually show noise direction in game by some kind of indicator we decided to leave tank engines audio playing for hidden units and if you wish you can have a look around the map see if you can try and find out where they are by the noise of them. Um, right. Okay. Well, let's go. I've only got infantry, and I have to get up there quickly because if they take three, if they take three out of the four. If at turn twelve, if they hold three out of the four, I lose. So you straight up to the building, please, and your friends can. What do we actually have here? Where's, the, I, where's my um, flamethrower? I should have checked where the flamethrower was. Where is he? He is over here. That is utterly useless. That is not where I need you at all. Okay, let's just run you up to the hedge. Run out. Everyone run up to the hedge. You, machine gunner, go to the hedge. You've got a Panzerfaust. Let's try and get you into that woodland. Ooh, we don't have much going The mortar. Uh, let's block there. I haven't got anyone to fire at with the mortar yet, but ah, oh, that's right. I need to get this chap into the yeah. into the building for spotting tonight. There you go. Right. You are an MMG team, so pack up, move up to this hedge, and you can set up again next turn. You just get cover over there. Marder, get into this next turn. Get into that. Hide yourself. Um, I don't like the look of. We know they have some chaps here. I am going to have to advance across this field and they're going to shoot. So I'm going to drop some smoke with the mortar if I can. Where are you? Yeah, mortar, smoke shell. About here, if I can. Alright, well, until we see them, I'm just going to keep dropping smoke in this area. And hopefully, it'll help our advance because we have a field to cross. Ah, they've got a mortar too. And they've spotted my chaps over in this, and that was a lucky hit. Right. So, okay. So, who spotted? I didn't. I didn't notice that. What have they got here? Sherman. Yeah. Looks like a. 
and some infantry. Yeah, looks like a pretty conventional force. I don't think they've got anything wild. Sniper, they've got a sniper as well. Oh, okay, so they've done exactly what I was trying to do. They've tried to get snipers up into the buildings quickly to hamper my advance. Oh, okay, so they've, they've, they're already well up there. I'm going to have to fight my way into those buildings. Where's my sniper? Where are you? Can you... He's in a building. You get into this building. They don't... Oh, and... They've got a, an HQ team there as well, so they have a mortar, and he can spot for the mortar as well. What is this? It's Mark III? Yeah, Sherman Mark III. And it's slightly better than the two, but not, not by much. Um, but, but, um, I don't really know what I can do over here. Any engine noise? Yeah, yeah there's some engine noise over here. So... It'd be a pretty... Right, let's get this. You move along. You just come on. All right, all right, they've seen you. Right, well, in which case, let's give them a target rich environment. It's, I don't want them all ganging up on one person. Uh, you stay here in case they try and come through the open. I don't think they will. Mortar. Right, well, we now know. Is there anyone I can hit? A few guys over here. Maybe I can. I can see that spot. That's rather good. Let's see if I can actually land a shot. The guy in the building is probably safe. <laughs> yeah. Revenge for the chap over here that you took out. Right, come on. Move up. You get moving. That sniper is. Do I have any smoke grenades? No, I do not. Right, well, we're just going to have to run for it then. Run, 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 run. Okay, is this mine? This is mine. So they've got that one, I've got this one. They've got that one already. That's interesting. Who have they got in there? That is not very big. It could be in there. Okay, well I'm going to find out shortly. Mm, yeah, you run as well. Come on, run, run, run. Come over and give a bit of support. Let's get this Marder in here because they've got a tank ahead. You can set up in case we need you. You can move to the front of this building. Ah, and spot. They've got some guys in the street. Okay, so they actually are coming up quite quickly. And it's turn two, and I don't get any support until turn eight. Yeah, there's that mortar. It's only a little one. It's not as effective as mine. And they've got another Sherman over here. I don't have anything that can deal with a Sherman on this on this flank. I don't have anything at all. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a Churchill of some kind. What's that? I'll have a look. Crocodile! They've got a they've got a Churchill crocodile. Okay. That is very, very bad news indeed. Okay, okay, and he's, he's not wasting any time. Okay, right, I'm in a lot of trouble. Um, I have one anti-tank, I have one anti-tank gun on the field of battle, and it's a Marder, which, the gun is good. The gun is a good good 75 millimeters, like a pack 40. Um, that uh, okay. That could deal with a Sherman, and it can maybe deal with a Churchill if it hits it on the side. On the front, it's probably going to bounce unless it hits the turret. The Churchills are tough; they can take quite a lot of damage, even though their armor. The Churchill Mark III's armor is very good. The Churchill Mark IV, the the most common one, is not that great. Um, but on the front, it's 105 or something. Which means you need a good flat hit with a pack. What is the? Oh, okay. So that's an AVRE, right? So they haven't brought a Churchill troop. They these are um, Royal Engineers. They've got an AVRE with that huge petard mortar. That's okay. This is a really good choice for this map. It's small. It's tight. This petard mortar is really a demolition weapon. It's got a short range. It takes a whole turn to reload, so you can't fire it quickly. 
but if you hit anything with it, it's game over. Um, and the, the Churchill Crocodile, well, I'm sure most of you are familiar with what that is. It's a Churchill Heavy, which is very, very difficult to damage, even with um, high-velocity German weaponry. And it's got this big trailer on the back because it's got a bloody great flamethrower at the hull at the front. And flamethrowers are horrific weapons. Um, I don't have anything that can hurt that. Except for Panzerfausts. Panzerfausts can hurt it. They have huge penetration, but they don't do much damage. So these two are... Um, that's a bit easier to kill. Marda? My sole anti-tank gun? Where do I need to set you up to be able to shoot in this direction? There, exactly where that machine gun is. Okay, well you pack up and move. You get up to there and aim up. You can't hit anything yet. Firing through the hedge, but... Right, where is my mortar? You. We are going to... They're clustering here, so let's drop some mortars on them. Not quite. I'm going to move it onto that chap. Incoming! Yep, there goes another of them. Okay. About the sniper. Can he see anyone? He can see the enemy sniper, but he's in a building. He can see them. He can actually see the crocodile has its hatches open because he thinks he's far away from the enemy. But I have a sniper in this building. I'm going to try and take out one of the crew of this crocodile. Yes! Shh, that'll teach you. Shut your hatches, you arrogant so-and-so. Uh, and, ooh, pioneers. I have an anti-tank team here, so you get into that building as well. You come around the corner. You have a Panzerfaust, so you, let's get you into this building. Get you into the building. You are spotting for the mortar that's already fired. You just stay put. This tank here is a bit worrying. If he spots any of these guys, he's just going to obliterate them. And he's already spotted one, two, all of these guys here. So we're going to run. Try and get into this as quickly as you possibly can. We're going to lose some and lose the flamethrower. Yeah, come through as well. Yeah. I want to get the flamethrower into this. It's only an infantry flamethrower, but at very short range. Very short range, but it does do some damage. You're already aiming at someone, and that's it. Okay. Water firing again. forgot it was there and he's, he's eliminated that infantry group with one shot from that enormous I think it's they called it the flying dustbins 290 millimeter or something it's absolutely huge designed for taking out bunkers um, right well first blood to them I suppose Sniper, sniper, I know you're there. Ouch. This is going to start to get nasty when I get into the... Oh, what the hell? They're already in there, and what? That was a lot of submachine guns. What on earth was that? And how did they get up there so quickly? What is that? What... Are you? Commandos. Commandos assault team. 
Ouch. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near them. They have Thompsons. And I have one man left over here. And four morale. So they must have rushed. This is the annoying thing about commandos. They are so good at moving through urban environments. Um, they get a... There's a, a general penalty for infantry moving through buildings and the like, and commandos don't have it. Um, so that's how they've got here so quickly. They must have gone straight through this building, straight across the road, into there, and occupied it, and stuck their Thompsons out of the windows and waited for me to come through the... waited for me to come through the orchard. And now they've absolutely slaughtered me. The the commandos are here. If command, if So there's more commandos then? There must be. Are they all commandos? HQ, sniper, veteran, commandos, veteran. They're veteran infantry. But there's got to be and another. So there's command. They're commandos and veteran infantry with Royal Engineers vehicles. That is a nasty, nasty. I need my Yag Panthers. I need my Yag Panthers here now. Yeah, you are going to have to run away because I can't take on. Yeah, can't yeah, take boy. on commandos. Uh, you need to hold these guys back. Is he in danger from anyone? No. Just put the sniper's head back. Yeah. Sniper's just having a little bit of a fight yeah, against boy. one another. They know you're here, which is annoying, so I need to keep you at the back of the building until they forget about you. Yeah. Where's my mortar? Yeah, Where's my mortar? No. Here? There. Come on. Land one. One either side. Uh, did it hurt the crew? No. They're fine. That thing. This huge melt mortar. Where's the crocodile gun? Over here. He didn't like having one of his crew sniped. Okay. So. So, so, so. Let's have a look. This guy's just got to hide because Sherman in the open is going to... Panzerfaust? Can I get a Panzerfaust on him? I only get one shot with this. 2%. No. But what if I just get a little closer to the hedge and wait for next turn? If he doesn't attack me, I will put a Panzerfaust into his side. Right. You flee into the woodland. You flee into the woodland. Where's my flamethrower? I could get a flamethrower on him. Do I get the flamethrower into the woods? Or do I run the flamethrower over and hope that either the Panzerfaust or the flamethrower survives the charge against this Sherman? Either of them could take him out at close range. The Panzerfaust is unlikely to do it with one shot, but he could. Don't have another Panzerfaust over here. I lost one over on the right to that commando assault team. Right, before we do that, the Marder still got a shot, accurate shot at the side of this. Now, this is an AVRE, so he's got the good armor on pretty much everywhere. I think his side armor on the turret and on the body is about 90, which is a lot. Um, so I need the flattest hit I can get, which from the look of it, the flattest hit would be on the hull. So we're going to shoot at the hull. And it still bounced off. That is bad luck. But he took some suppression. The more suppression units take from a bounce, it usually indicates that it was quite close to going through. If it's an easy bounce, they don't get suppressed. So that, that was worrying for him, but not. I don't know what to do with this flamethrower. Get him to there. It'll take, him two, take me two more turns to get to that. Maybe I need to pull him back around this way and ambush this tank as he comes through. I'm assuming he's aiming to come around here. I'm going to do that. Set up, just in case. Can you stay there, spot. This is looking very bad. Right, I've got plenty of time. They are definitely going to take more of the objectives than me, but it doesn't count until... Oh, they're dropping mortars in them. Yeah, okay, he's shut his hatches and decided he knows where we are, so... Oh dear. 
Oh. Marder. That Marder's gonna have to back up. Yeah, he's moving. He couldn't fire anyway. He'll be needing to reload his ridiculous petard mortar. And the, yeah, the crocodile with a slightly twitchy trailer. Oh, he's firing! No, 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 no! Oh. I didn't think he was gonna. I didn't think he was gonna come back round. That's the power of the flamethrower. Really doesn't matter what you are. If the flamethrower catches you, it's gonna do a huge amount of damage. Even tanks. They're not quite as vulnerable as infantry, but still. Ah. Oh my. Wow. Okay, I am losing. He's rallying someone. Probably the sniper. And then moving the HQ unit up. And he's killed another one. I've been absolutely slaughtered. They've got their veteran... They've just got veteran infantry everywhere. And I get nothing until turn 8. They are going to absolutely do me. What is he doing? Oh, he's deciding what to do, and now they're in the building. Okay, so the name of the game is Survive until turn 8. And then hope... Oh no, that's it, I've lost. Your men have reached their limit. We can ask no more of them today. You must withdraw. Wow, I caused three enemy casualties. That was a very unfortunate combination of randomised force, and uh, if I'd noticed that those Jagdpanthers were all going to turn up late, I probably would not have taken that force, but I wasn't paying attention. What else did they have? I mean, look at that. They absolutely murdered me. That is an excellent choice for this map. Churchill Crocodile and Patad and ABRE. And those cheeky so-and-so's there, they really hurt me badly. You were absolutely useless, Mortar. Yeah, they really had me, didn't they? They were just waiting for me to get into this woodland. They had two veteran LMG teams waiting just the other side of it. And another one in the, in the actual wood already. Well, I've been beaten by my own AI, <laughs> and comprehensively. I don't, th I don't think I've ever lost that badly. Three casualties. Damn. That's all I caused. Alright, I, I, need, I need another go. End review. Let's try another one. Because that was disappointingly brief. Um, let's try... Because it's in the demo. It's in the demo. Let's try... Should I try another one as Germans? I'll try another one as Germans. I'm going to do... Uh, Mad Young Men. This one's uh, the large... The, this is the only large mission, full-size mission, that's included in the demo. The others are smaller um, early story missions, but this is a full-size one. Um, and I know it quite well, so I'm going to play as the Germans again. And I am... I'm not going to select a large force, this, or maybe a large, large or medium. And let's play... Let's play at sunset again. Maybe sunset two. Let's play at sunset two. One should be sunrise, I suppose, and one sunset, really. I'll go for this. Anything else? Can I make one go overcast? In the rain, maybe? Yeah, let's play in the rain. Alright. I'm play in the rain. Unrestricted enemy. Medium force? Or large, medium force. Uh, no, large force, large force. Let's make it interesting. Large force. Default difficulty, I think, this time, because I think I proved. Now let's go hard again. I'm determined. I'm determined. I'm determined. We'll make it a medium force and large. Medium force on, on, on harder. Similar to what we had last time. But it's a bigger map. Let's see if I can make an impact and I am going to go with the randomized force again Ostruppen those are not very good Panzer Grenadiers a panth pair of panthers with an armored car flak panzer ooh lots of um, 
That's of uh, 21st Panzer U U304s. So this Panzer Grenadier is an Ostrippen. So this is like a this is like a um, it's like a 21st Panzer force, but supplemented with someone's Panthers. All the others are. I didn't put any restrictions in, so this is coincidence. But um, all right, well let's take that. Let's take that force. Do I have any anti-tank? Only two tanks. And an S307. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We're fighting in the rain. Alright, see, this is quite a large map. Uh, I've got a Kugelwagen with some dudes in, an infantry group, so I can do some scouting early on. Let's just, I'm gonna just here, you just go straight up the road, get in there, take some objectives. Uh, this is turn 10, these. Right, Panther number one, where do I want you? Need to give you some nice long lines of sight because you're a panther. Probably all the way out here on the right. Here ish. You can look in and look over there. So this is actually not a bad start position. Just move you over one. Yeah. You, other panther. Main road or covering from. Let's just go one left, one right. You can start on the road. Get in there nice and quickly. Uh, MMG team. Uh, yeah, I want you in the buildings quickly, so you pack up, pack up, pack up, pack up. There we are. U-304. These are a bit slow. And um, that is not, that's nice and quick. So maybe I can run you out to the left. Run you out to the left and hook around. You straight up the road, you can straight there. That's a bit of a waste. Which one of you has a Panzerfaust? One of you has a Panzerfaust guy. It's this one here. Okay. Uh, Flak Panzer. You can go in. You can. You can. Yeah. Go straight up. Two more U three hundred fours and the S three hundred seven. That's quite a good gun. It's like a Marder. It's a twenty first Panzer specific. It's a bit like a Marder there. Um, I'm gonna leave him over there. Yeah. I'm gonna leave him over there. All right. Let's do it. Whilst the enemy's doing their turn, I'm just going to grab a glass of water for myself. Excuse me. Okay. Did we spot anything? No. Nope. They've got a mortar, so they've landed some smoke over there. Interesting. Why have they landed a smoke over there? They don't like this line of sight, that's why. They're going to be coming down through here, I reckon. Yeah, unless it's a bluff, which it might be. Okay. You get into this open space. You rush down the road. God, they're so slow. You really rush down the road. Ah, uh, yeah, 
past that 2318. Uh, can I get through this hedge? No. There's a gap there. There's a gap there. So we'll go this way. Or a machine gun, I think, so just carry that tripod forwards. Okay. So they haven't taken any of these yet. So where are they? And more specifically, what are they? I suppose more pertinent. Yeah, still dropping smoke. On my right. They don't know. They haven't seen any of my guys, so this smoke is speculative. They don't want any long lines of sight from that direction, which is fair enough. I wouldn't either. That's why I put my panther over. So. Still nothing. So this, they're a slow force, whatever they are. Whatever they are, they're yeah. slow. You get there, drop someone in that building, and then retreat around the corner. Alright, well this is mine, for now. Yeah, you can get up there and help them. You can have that one. Yeah, you just run yeah. down the street. Yeah. No one's seen the panther, let's open his hatches. Yeah. He hasn't seen anything. Da, da, da. You come through this gap. Come through this gap as well. Just don't trust the Austrian. They can't be trusted. Alright, I think I've overloaded my right hand side too much. So they're dropping smoke here. This guy's gonna, not going to get any good shots for a while. Going through the Let's get this guy out behind this hedge. They're still. Ugh. See, this is annoying. They're dropping smoke exactly where I wanted to park my S307 just behind this hedge and just have him watch out along this field and across into town. But they've dropped smoke here, so. It's not going to happen. If they keep doing it, I have to hope they give up and come through here. They still haven't taken anything. Not a sausage. So. Still more smoke. A lot of them, judging by the enemy turn progress bar. And they're slow. Churchills? Or just lots and lots of infantry? Or maybe they've got a lot of assets hanging back. So M10s or Fireflies? They had a lot of, they had Cromwells or Shermans. A lot of Shermans. They would be, they'd be rushing these uh, these zones. Ah, okay. They've taken some now. Yeah, but that's pretty slow. They've managed to get into these zones, but I'm, well, uh, it's about the same as me actually, to be fair. But I'm a slow force. They are a slow force as well. Yeah, Let's get you over here. I have a plan. Yeah, I have a plan. Let's get you over here as well, because they're blocking this smoke. I'm going to go all the way around here. Smoke. You just come out here. Okay, what we got? Uh, M5, half-track. We're using, so they've got Motor Company. He's being a bit slow. No, no, he's not. He's made it quite a long way. <laughs> okay, yeah. So they were... Okay, that's why. That's why. Okay, okay. But that is exactly the kind yeah. of unit that could be endangered by a well-placed yeah. flat panzer. Let's get him up to the head. Yeah, Can you see him from there? No. Yeah, 
come across. Let's just get you up to about here. Hello. I know you're not going to stay there, and I'm not going to reveal my Panther just to fire at an M5 that I'm definitely going to miss. What do I actually have in the way of Panthers? What is it? It's, uh, it's an A, Panther A. Yeah, I prefer the A. It's the same price as the G. Its armor's not quite as good, and it doesn't have a smoke launcher, but it does have an extra gunnery point. A slightly better turret from the early design. So I think I have to go through here. If they have anything in this field, any infantry in this field, I won't be able to see them. If I open this, this hatches and get him right up. Can I get him? Is he fast enough to get him? Not quite. Get him to, yeah, okay. And a truck. Okay, so they do have some fast moving, but they're sending them around the flanks. So they've got a truck full of guys here. They're not veterans, they're normal. That is unfortunate for them because I have a 20mm auto cannon, and next turn I'm going to make mid speed of that truck. And I have another 20mm yeah. auto cannon here, so if he comes around the corner, I'm going to make mid speed of him. Right, yeah, let's continue. Oh, he's already moved. Who hasn't moved? Yeah. This panther hasn't moved. Let's get him up there. And all the infantry. All of the infantry. You drop. Do I want to drop? No, no, I don't. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get closer. You could do some scouting for me. The reverse of the road. Are you chaps? I need to get into here. A hole. Got a panzer going to do a squad down. You just come in for backup. Oh, you're not very good. You might as well go across as well, I don't think you're going to be needed over here. Let's go around this building, up behind the panther. Okay. So, they've gone slow-ish in the middle. No, they haven't gone slow at all actually, have they? Yeah, they've gone quite quick. That was bold. That was bold. I think they're going to pay for that. So... Still more smoke. Ooh. Okay. More trucks. And they're dropping off their men. So they've got a lot of motorized infantry, that's rare. I don't see that so much. It's quite dangerous. I mean, you can, it means you can move your, your guys up quickly. And if you have half tracks like this, they're pretty well protected from small arms fire. So if they get if you get ambushed by infantry, you're pretty much okay. Not the same if you're in trucks, obviously. But trucks cost almost nothing. Half tracks are quite expensive. And some of them have 50 cals on them. Not that one, I don't know. No, that's just a, just a normal half track. Alright, let's use our own half tracks. Ours are a bit slow, these French, these captured French ones are a bit slow. Get up there, drop your man off. That's good. Another objective, am ours. They've got three, I've got five. If I take one more, I'm into victory. But it won't count until turn 10. So, let's punish this truck for its arrogance. I know what he's trying to do. He was trying to rush up to this, to behind this hedge, drop his infantry off, and then have them come in along the hedge. Run. Cheeky. That's what we're doing. 45%. Good night. And there we are. And did they lose all of their guys? I don't know, that looked like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, is it 10? 10, they're all dead. 11, no. And the crew, yeah, all of them gone. I don't think anybody survived that from the number of skulls. I think they were all taken out. Now I could be wrong, because they're in, um, they're in, uh, 
crops, so if any of them did survive, I wouldn't be able to see them. It would be assumed that when they got out, they could probably remain in, I think. But I don't think they did. I think that was the end. Which is great, because it also stopped them spotting my panther. Which is what I wanted. Now, do I leave the panther back here? Because he can cover a lot from here. This whole flank. And even a line... I'm going to leave him there. I think that's a good that's a good spot for him. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to turn him this way. Get that front arc. No one spotted him anyway. Up you go. Yeah. He's doing nothing. I'm going to do some cheeky cheesing. Let's just go around the corner. Have you see anything? No, we can't see anything. Alright, we're going to go back. Right and your Cooper body. Yeah, get to the front of the building. And what have we got here? Yeah, it's Churchill. It is. Uh, oh, it's a Mark III, so it's there. It's the up armored, late, late up armored version. Um, good toughness. Yeah. Slow, good over rough terrain. He can also go through the brocage breach points. Oh wow, okay, yeah, they've got phosphorus ammo and smoke grenades. I don't think there are any... I don't think there is enough blockage in this level for there to be any breach points. I don't think so. No, they're not. There's only small patches, so there's no breach points. They don't need it, basically. Right, okay, so... Okay, and that was veteran infantry? Yeah, veteran infantry again. What about these guys? These are normal. Those are normal infantry, and that's normal. So it's not all veteran, it's a mix. Uh, yeah, let's get you across this. Yeah. Can you hit anything from here? If they come through, they're not going to come through, are they? They're not, I'm going to have to get you let's get yeah. around the corner. Yeah. Into that gap. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, you chaps. Uh, I don't, you don't have any Panzerfaust, do you? No, you don't. Who does? One of you does. Ah, this chap does. Okay, that's a good, that's a good, actually. Get up to the wall, drop off your Panzerfaust. I'm going to try and get the Panzerfaust into this building for when these Churchills come rolling around the corner. It's only one Panzerfaust, but they're very, very powerful. Excellent penetration. They should be able to cause some bother, even for a Churchill. You can see that truck. Is it worth revealing the position of my panther to destroy a truck that is empty? I don't think it is. Let's move them up. Should we just use should we, let's use the smoke that they put down? Oh, I've spotted something. What did I suppose I spotted? Oh, just more infantry. I'm using their smoke against them. They haven't even they dropped so much smoke they can't see that there's a panther over there. Yeah. Uh, you stay where you are. Alright, how's the map looking? Yep, we're up on it. Okay. Another shot. Was that, was that smoke? Yep, smoke. I think the truck is just going to leave. Yeah, he's just going to leave now. He's done his job. He's going to hide. What are the infantry doing? Right. Ooh! Interesting. Churchill's come to deal with my armoured car, but he's not going to be able to hit him this turn. He's not aiming at him. That's not, what he, that's not what he came for. Uh, another Churchill. That's why they put the smoke. They wanted to be. So where's that half track going? Is that the veteran? Yeah. Yeah. This is the ordinary one that drops off by there. Yeah, okay, they're just going to try and get into these buildings. I am outnumbered over here a bit on the infantry front. But I have a flat panzer. Oh, you can't see him. Can you see him? Is this another? This is another. Ooh, that's a six pounder. That. 
Yeah, it's the one with the six pounder. So that that actually is a bit more dangerous to my Panthers uh, than the than the seventy five that this chap has. What's he aiming at? He can't see him. He doesn't know he's there. Ah, uh, okay. Stuart Recky. It's a turretless. Stuart with the turret taken off and a, just a fifty cal on there. But they are they trans? They can use those as kangaroo transport vehicles, but they haven't. There's no, there's no one in there. Up we go. You get into the, oh, 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 hop over the wall into the garden. You just come and keep an eye out over here. What's that? HQ infantry. Okay, so they've got they're they're coming up in a line basically, aren't they? Slow. Yeah, they just just come through the hedge. You need to move anyway. I quite like. Can you really? Oh, it's because he's in the way. That's why. Move! And. What is that? It's a centaur. Centaur. That's. It's a bit annoying. These centaurs aren't particularly dangerous. Um, they're dangerous against infantry. They're not particularly dangerous against tanks. They've got a 95mm uh, howitzer. Um, and they're not as fast as Cromwell's, but that um, howitzer has loads of phosphorus ammunition, loads of smoke phosphorus ammunition, and if he finds out where my panthers are, he's going to just pound them with phosphorus to blind them. I mean, he might not, I can't say for sure what he's going to do, but that is what they're for. Okay, what's he spotted? What's that? Just more infantry. Okay, so they got, yeah, they got quite a lot. You, I'm gonna set you up behind this because I think from there you can see. Yes, you can. Okay, good. So do I re reveal this panther now? I think I can just twenty percent. Is it worth it? Let's get closer. Let's go. Let's just, just charge him. No, what was that? What was that? Overwatch. Churchill. Bounced. Oof. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is 75 mil. 75 mil Churchill. HQ. No, it's not. It is a 75 mil, but it's not. This is a heavy Churchill. That's a um. That's a Mark. Is it seven or eight? Seven? Seven. Mark Heaven Sebi. Yeah, okay. Not a very good good gun. It's just got the 75, but it's bloody tough. Um, that said, Panther 75. If anything's going to get through, it's going to be a Panther 75. Yep, machine gun. Design. I do, however, need to get my turret aimed at him. Uh, because. If he hits the side of my turret, he's going to go through. So I need to point it that way. Mm. Okay, into the smoke. Up here, help our friends. You are going to get swamped in a minute, but move in a little bit. Yeah. You can't go in there because you're a. But move in here. Just stay on Overwatch, maybe in case they have any infantry that are going to come. Yeah. Can you see anything, Panther? Should we just aim across here? Be really cheeky. Try and get a. Try and get an Overwatch shot. Yeah. Still got Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah. You see, it's showing an arc here, but that's for the whole machine gun. It's really over here that the main gun's got Overwatch. Okay. You. Well done. You come around here. Yeah. You stay where you are. Yeah. Flak Panzer, Flak Panzer, Flak Panzer. Have a nice shot at this. 19%. It's worth a go. Ooh. No, he's only, he was short. Not it short. In too low. Yeah. You can't do much. You. What do you got? Just submachine guns. Okay. 
Well, I suppose let's just get you into this window. Oh, hello. Let's see what's that. More infantry. They're just they're everywhere, aren't they? Look at this. Swarming in. I've moved a bit quicker than them, but they are keeping cohesion. I'm a bit strung out. What's this? Mortar? Yeah. Okay. Speculative mortar shells into the middle of town. Yeah, they don't know I'm in that. Uh, he's dropped off his men and they're hidden in the crops. What is he? He's got nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Ah, I didn't spot that. That Churchill was gonna yeah, take out my unit. Oh, that was foolish. That was very foolish. Okay. Did I know he was there? Yeah, I did know he was there. Yes, I know. It's heavy Churchill versus Panther. I think I can win this standoff if he tries... Oh, he changed target to something he could hurt. Bugger. More Churchills? What's that? That's another Churchill, isn't it? Ooh, is that an AVRE again? I don't see those so often. We've had two of them in as many levels. So that's, um, rare. Yeah, machine guns on that Stuart Recce. It's got two. They've still got their whole machine gun and they've got a uh, Pintle 50. Okay, okay, okay. I've lost a lot of half tracks that turn. I was being too cocky. Yeah, in comes the infantry. How long we got? Okay, I'm gonna have to end this in 13 minutes. So I try and either win or lose by then. Not sure I can. Extend the time a little bit. Stream. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to hold this woodland with one. With one lone. Infantry LMG group. Um, they're not even veteran. They're just normals. And they're supporting half track. I know they've got three or four infantry over here. So I'm just going to lose in, in the way of numbers. Do I get out now? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay there and try and get these guys over to help. Can I? I don't really want them to see my. Right. Well, speculative is unlikely to do anything, but sometimes. Gonna have a go at your pan. Uh, gonna have a go at your uh, heavy Churchill. Amazing armor as he may have. I think it's like 150 millimeters on the front or something. But the, this Panther 75 is very high velocity indeed. So it has a chance. Here it comes. Well, I missed anyway. Okay. They haven't spotted you. You can't really see anything. Could I get you over here? Sneak, sneaky sneaks. Set up and try and get another 75. On. You just go over into the field. I need some more infantry for this woodland here. Have another crack at this. Come on. 56. Come on, also, Cannon. No. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's killed the. He's killed the driver. And damaged it. Yep, yeah, that's out. That's effectively done with. Up you come. Drop off your men. And. They haven't seen you anyway, you can just stay there. You get up here and drop your men off. We need more men in this building because we're about to have to fight. And then reverse a bit. You have Panzerfaust, get in that building. I want you posted up in this window, dropping a Panzerfaust on this Churchill. What's this? This is an AVRE. Yep, that's that petard mortar again. It's not much use out in the open at long range, so let's teach them a bit of a lesson. 
45. Yeah, what's he going to do? He's a Churchill. He's slow. His gun is short range. Even if I miss, he's not going to be able to take me out. 99. got anything else interesting up their sleeves. They didn't bring any... Oh! Okay. Yeah, there's little two-inch mortars. They're just annoying more than anything else. Oh, I should have bailed him out. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. He's gonna get, he's gonna get done anyway. Yeah, that's the end of it. Okay, another 304 bites of dust. What is that? Sneaking around at the back. I don't think they've brought any high velocity guns though. I think they have brought a whole mess of Churchills. But I don't think, apart from that six pounder, which is, I mean it is high velocity, but it's only small. You're not gonna win this fight. Oh my God, I spoke too soon. Where the hell did they hit me? Turret! A D shot trap! Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Am I gonna lose? Is my Panther going to lose a head to head slugfest with a Churchill? Uh, he's found a weak point in the wall. Or just adding his, adding his um, high explosive mess to. Uh, oh, I'm, what on earth was that? He just took out an entire group. Yeah, I, I think you're going to regret that, but I am I am outnumbered. So that's their HQ group. He's spotting for the mortar. I think they have another HQ group somewhere. They have a lot of infantry. I reckon there's another HQ group over here. Oh, it's, a, it's the, they've got an HQ tank. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought they'd come into this woodland. They want this, object, this objective quite badly. And they've got a lot. Well, I may as well. Nice. Nice. Well, he's not going to be dangerous. Uh, okay, I've got away with that. God bless the ambush. And another one? Wow, they were... Interesting. So, they got dropped off by that half-track, didn't they? Those guys. And they've been making their way through the crops. Well... Okay, so I can't use the whole machine gun because I've lost two crew. I've lost two of my crew to that bloody Churchill. I don't have smoke because this is a Panther A. Because I've lost two crew, I'm slower. Am I really going to have to ignominiously hide behind? I could hide behind that. Or I can take the shot. I'm not opening my hatches because it's the enemy infantry too close. Sixty-three percent chance. Well, I'm not going to be a coward about it. And he misses. Mr. Churchill, it'd be wonderful if you could lose your nerve right about now and retreat rather than fire back. That would be just great. You guys, go and cover. I don't think you can see this guy. But I just don't think I can hurt a heavy church. I mean, it's a, seven, it's a good 75, but I don't think I'm not going to make the shot this turn. I have to wait. Uh, I mean, they know you. 
They know you're here, but you're only going to do retreat. Finish off that guy. Excellent. If I turn this guy around... Yeah, he can. Let's put some machine gun fire on that. It's not going to do any damage after, after turning all the way around, but... Okay. You, you can open fire, though. Uh, they're hiding in the crops, and they've just been revealed. It's not going to do anything. I might have to get, I'm gonna have to try and get them across into the, into the woods. You're going to have to get over there as well. What about these chaps? Uh, this is about to get quite tasty. Do I want more people over there? Or do I want them over here? I don't really want them exposed in front of these... In front of that centaur specifically, with its 95 howard, so that's a nasty thing for the to be fighting. I run up over here again? Maybe I can channel in? Yeah. Come back over here. You just hide behind the house because you're going to get done otherwise. Anyone you can fire at? No. You equally just hide behind, hide behind the house. You come this way. What is this? This is an HQ group supported by that Churchill. Ah, hello. So take my revenge on this. 72. Come on, drill him. That's good. Just suppression. Ah! Oh, so through and through. It's gone straight through it without doing any damage. So, what can I do? I'm going to. He's, he's now suppressed, so let's get this guy over here. If he leaves his hatches open, which he might, he probably won't now he's been hit, but he's suppressed, so he can't shut them now. I could have the auto cannon and the machine gun on that do some damage. Right, that's already. If he stays here, one of these two is gonna is gonna hit him. I think. But I need to. I need to. I, I need to bring him up. I need to bring him up to here. That's what I need to do. Just, just come and help. get into that building. Can you see anything from there? Yes, you can. So next turn, he moves. He's getting a Panzerfaust from an upper window. Right. You chaps. Uh, who's been shooting at you? Lots of people have been shooting at you. If I retreat... Ah, just, just shoot down on these. Minimal, minimal. He's too, they're too suppressed. We're going to have to run you back to the other side of the building. What's he spotted? More infantry. You get to the front. You can fire next turn. Okay. Kubelwagen, there's very little you can do. Uh, he's unarmed. Okay. Alright, let's see what we've got. Mortar? Yeah. Yeah, he's not, he's not got a spotter on there, I don't think. Truck getting out of the way. God, they have a lot of Churchills. Ooh. Yeah, you're not going to hit that. Ooh, I forgot there was another one back there. Is that another three? It's another Mark Three, I think. Yeah. Well, good, jo good job I've got Panthers. Of course, I've only got two. Ooh. And this one is quite badly damaged by that. Is he going to fire again? Is he going to change targets? He's coming. He's coming in. Oh, he's, he's running. He's decided he doesn't want to slug it out. Yes. All right. Well, that's that's a bit of luck. He's just going to machine gun the building, isn't he? No, he doesn't know there's anyone there. What are you doing? Yeah, I knew it. He's put phosphorus on the panther to stop him being able to see anything. This chap coming through. Building. They're going to keep feeding infantry down this channel into this wood. I don't know how many there are there. Are they coming in? Interesting. 
what are you up to? Yeah, okay. Okay. He's decided... Yeah, he's gonna leave it to these two, isn't he? That's why. He doesn't know these guys are here. Okay, I reckon I have a, I reckon I have a good old chance here. You, well, you can't do anything because you're. Back up. You. Minimal. Oh, because he's suppressed. How's he suppressed? Someone fire at him. Someone fire at him. Who was that? He's undamaged. The moment of truth, the setup I've been trying to do. Panzerfaust onto this Churchill. 64% chance to hit. Is that enough to risk it? Or do I wait until he gets closer? He will get closer. I think he'll get closer. They have no idea that he's there. You're covering the rear if they come over the wall. You are not. Can we go and fire on them? That's not bad. That's really good. Open. Yeah. Now let's rear them down. Good. You, can you still see him? No. He moved. Okay. Let's, let's just let's knock some points off them. Ah, hello. Yeah, what is he? Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, what do I do with this panther? He's damaged. He's lost two crew. <sighs> There's two Churchills in front of him. I really need to repair him a bit. But he's slow as hell now. And they've covered him in smoke. I think I'm going to have to just move them up, honestly, and start moving the turret over. He's not going to have a chance to repair. You can open fire. Yeah, that's good. You help this guy get up there. I really want to fire this Panzer fast, but he's, they've only got one. 64 is not a good enough chance to risk it. Right. Yeah. This guy still... A accurate aim. I'm going to put one straight through your... That's pretty much flat. I'm going to go for the hull. Straight through the hull. Come on. Yeah. Oh, bloody tree. How badly damaged was he? Not very. Oh, but two of the crew are dead. Okay, so he's... He's in trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Alright, let's... let's oh, thank God. Yeah, none of those guys survived at all. They were all killed. Uh, These U-304s... I've got too many of them. and They're, they're not much use. Um, once they've dropped people off. They have a machine gun, but... Can I get closer? Is that closer? That's a bit closer. But now I've moved. Yeah, 39. No, okay, stay there. Alright. Alright, I'm ready. Turn 8. Did I buy any reinforcements? I don't think I did. In the random. Ugh, they're going to start shelling that wood, aren't they? 
They've only got one two-inch mortar, so it's, it's it's not that dangerous. It's not like they've got a an observer and off map, which is which they can have. Uh, interesting. He's obligingly turned his side to us and is now. What are you shooting? Oh. Don't take him out, don't take him out, don't take him out. This is not looking good. Ah! What a waste. He did absolutely nothing. This uh, right hand push of mine has become a bit of a disaster. The Brits. Maybe it's because it's raining. British performance increases in drizzle. Okay. I think. I mean, you can try and get that petard mortar on, but I don't think you're going to make it. Uh, 50 cal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we need to get the infantry out of the way of that thing. It's not much dangerous of tanks, but it's um it's it's rather good at taking out infantry at long range. What do we have there? They've just got so many they've got so many units. This is clearly an infantry division with um with uh Churchill support. Centaur just thrown in. The Centaurs just crop up every now and again, attached to random units. Yeah, you're coming. I knew you were going to come over that wall. I bloody knew it. But why did I not get Overwatch? Did you avoid my... Don't, don't grenade me. Okay, well, they know my guys are there now. Great. That's very annoying. Super annoying. Okay, so they've got their infantry right up to the building. Well, I don't know why I didn't think of this, which means they can look in the windows and they've spotted these guys. They can hear them. So, if these guys stay where they are, then next turn there's a grenade coming in that window. I can fire at them and I'll probably wipe them all out. But then this Churchill will turn his gun and put a shell through the window in all likelihood. And I have one chance to maybe I can maybe these guys can help. You get over here. Yeah. Get there. And oh no! They were too suppressed. They moved too far. Right. Well I haven't got very long, so I'm gonna go balls out as it were. You're gonna run out the building, throw a grenade in the top of this. Someone survived. Yeah, still people alive in there. It's completely suppressed and damaged, but somehow they survived. Uh, I'm going to fire this Panzerfaust. I'm just going to hope that we can. It's worth it. 64 still. Uh, fine. Yes, it's a hit. One crew, two crew. Suppression. Turret damage, or is it just suppression and crew and crew death? Turret up front, no permanent damage, but no mechanic, no permanent mechanical damage. But um, two crew down, so he's going to be much, much slower and less effective than he would have been otherwise. Right. I wanted these guys to be able to mow down that HQ unit, but I forgot to set them up. So they're just sitting there with their MG42 and tripod on their shoulder when the this HQ group hopped over the wall. Why are they just looking at each other? So we're going to have to hop back over this wall because we don't have time to set the gun up. Uh, I need to make a hole in this wall, really, but I don't have enough tanks. All right, can we finish off this AVRE because he's just occupying my panther? 
Yeah, there we go. Good night. Your righty was good trouble. Right. You are going to be a, to a heroic scout. Whoa, hello. Oh, no. No. They're tank hunters. Oh, they're going to take out my armored car. If they have any sense next turn, they will walk one, two, and they will stick an explosive charge to the side of that. <sighs> this is why you don't rush vehicles through crop fields. I was so confident there was no one here. Uh, okay. What about you, Mr. Panther? Can you redeem yourself? Your whole machine gun isn't working because you haven't got enough crew alive. Right, you. Machine gun this. Certainly. One. Just one. You are going to have to retreat. You. Stay there on overwatch. You need to move because I'm pretty sure this, pan this um, Churchill is aiming at you. And he missed last turn. But where to take you? It's out. There's two more there. I'm not sure there is anywhere I can take you where you're safe. I might just have to move and hope. I might just have to hope that, he, that they miss. You come over. More for the meat grinder. Over there. This centaur is a bad unit to have over here, from my perspective. Uh, I don't want to huddle these together because they've got a mortar and they're going to. Oh, so, never mind. This is what it's like playing on hard mode. Six morale left. That's not a lot, but it's better than it could be. Go on. Yeah, let's whittle these guys down. That tank is going to play... I think he can probably hit. No, he can't. Pretty sure he can't. No, he can't. Okay, good. The angle is too much. Yeah, stay on Overwatch. I need you on Overwatch. Alright. Itty bitty mortar. Yeah, I knew he'd aim at the clustered infantry, but I don't think he can see anything. He's... he's He's blind firing at the area. He's now running away, which is fair enough. But I that's my only Panzerfaust I fired it, so what are you doing? I mean, I will definitely take an overwatch shot at that rather foolish Churchill, who I'm assuming was coming to angle for a shot on me. Silly boy. Oh, yes, that's more like it. Drill a nice high velocity 75 through the back of a... through the back of a Churchill. And now the six pounder return shot. Which bounced, thank God, but only just bounced. Was that a special AP? Or did he fire a normal AP? Normal AP. So he's still got special, a special AP round. In comes the centaur. He's angling for. What's he? Where's, what's he angling for? He's gonna try and shoot across, isn't he? Eesh. I'm gonna have to start pulling back shortly. Unless, where did you come from? You sneaky little. throwing grenades back. What are you going to do? He's going to come out. If this coming out, he's going to grenade them. Yeah, he's going to throw a grenade over the wall. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, no, 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 no. Yeah, he's going to... Or not? He ran the other side. Why did he run the other side? That's interesting. He's worried about getting shot by the panther. But I'm going to run away. I'm going to run away now. 
I'm just gonna. There's no way I'm leaving that that armored car in the field to get. Is that what he was doing? Yeah, he's worried about the panther. So he's trying to hide. He's trying to hide behind the other side. I don't think he's managed it. To be fair, yeah. I think he can still see him. Yeah. So who's he hiding from? That machine gun, maybe? That probably that machine gun. But it's not set up, old oh, boys. It's not set up. You've missed an opportunity there, lads. Yeah, boy. Missed an opportunity. A rare chance. I'm gonna Aye. run away. I'm gonna run away from you. And now the panther is going to. Yeah. Uh, panther's gonna make you pay. Two of you down. I mean, the Panther was going to make them pay anyway. Yeah. Uh, did this guy. One retreated. Yeah, boy. I'm going to finish this off because I need to lower their morale. Yep, yeah, that's them. That's him dead. Alright. Yeah, you just opened fire in the house. Oh, yes, all my submachine guns. All the submachine guns. You walked yeah, into boy. the wrong, wrong room. And a grenade to finish them off. Any of them alive? No. All the submachine guns have done their part. This. If I move back like three and set the gun up, then maybe when they come over the wall. Hmm, I might. I might just. him a little bit. Get the driver out. I'm going to lose a morale point for doing it, but I'll put him back in. I just wanted an extra gun. I think he's got a, he's got a rifle, whatever. If these guys come over the wall, they won't though. They'll get in that building, won't they? Okay. That's annoying. I might, I might live to regret that. Machine gun! No effect whatsoever. I can't see anyone, but stay. I'm worried about this. I'm worried about this. I don't know where he's. He's not aiming at either of these. But if he turns around and fires over here, that howitzer does splash damage as well, so if he hits one of them, he's going to hit all of them. So I need to spread out. They can't see him. You are in danger. I'll move you over here. Yeah, he can't quite. He'll have to move. Uh, you... That's not bad. You can fire. 40%. That's good. You need to run away. You... Wanna hide behind this? Yeah, hide behind that. Right. 20mm. Am I in any immediate danger from any tanks? I don't think I am. I don't think I can hurt the Centaur. But I can probably make it very uncomfortable for this chap in the field. Yes. This has been a disaster over here. He's already moved. No, no he hadn't already moved. He was on Overwatch. Oh, that's fine. Still. Oh no, he's come back. He has come back. I see you. I see you. You don't have much over there that can hurt my panther anymore, so. Slow as he may be, I think he's fairly safe. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't hurt me, so... Yeah, I know. You're just a truck. I'm just trying to stay out of the way. This guy's been very unhappy since I killed two of his crew with a Panzerfaust. What are you... No! I forgot about the six-pounder. And now the gun is taken out. I am going to have to bail that Panther out. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I knew you were gonna go for the infantry. Uh, you missed. And so did the splash damage. Okay, that was quite lucky. Next turn, he's gonna. Oh. 
Ouch. Are these guys gonna throw grenades? Interesting. I'm gonna... I'm gonna gun you down. Yeah, more grenades. Are you coming through? No. What are you doing? Yeah, you're in trouble now, aren't you? I'm just gonna keep running through the cornfields, hoping that that panther. I have to move that panther now because this one's useless. Absolutely useless. Yeah. Overwatch. Finish him off. Come on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. First of all, these chaps should be able to wipe the with them. Yep, only one of them left, that's good. You are now in danger from that. And that. I'm gonna have to just... He is gonna get done. It's that six pounder. He's gonna see him on the side. I don't know what to do about this. I think I'm going to have to bail out the crew and hope maybe I can... Ugh. That hurt. Yeah. But it's less of a morale loss. Can I actually hurt this? The side armour of these things is pretty crap. I mean, it's a bold move. Oh, his hatches uh, didn't really hurt it. Just put some suppression on him. You are okay. And maybe we move you up a little bit. Maybe we move you over a little bit. Maybe we get you. Oh, there's no way this guy can go. He's going to get done. Okay, I'm going to have to run him around the outside. That's all I've got. All of these guys are in trouble with that centaur guy. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna have to go for it. Everybody, run! He's got a. Has he got a hull? No, centaurs don't have hull machine guns. Right, charge him. Just charge him. You get back in the building. Wait for your. Wait for your mates. This has actually gone. This has gone quite well in the centre. I think I've won the battle for this. For this area of. Um, this center area. Can I can I win this one over here with my? Oh, hello, hello, objective. You don't have anyone else here, do you? One, two, three, four, five. If I can just win this one over here, we are past turn ten. I win. Okay, so all eyes need to be on. How are they even contesting this? It's that centaur and that infantry, but I have three. I've got th three or more units in this zone, so if I can get that down, so if I can take out that centaur, I win. If they have only one infantryman in here, I will take it anyway because I outnumber him so much. So someone, you panther, get over here and take the centaur out as quickly as you can. I need you. I need you and your huge gun. Uh, you get back in that because I need the I need the morale point back. You can't do anything. Stay here so that he doesn't hop over the wall. You have a crew of two. I could bail you out and use the crew, but I will lose morale again. But I can't keep you here, or those guys are going to throw grenades over the wall. You can stay there. I think you're safe. All right, this is, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. What do we got? Mortar incoming. Yeah, that's the problem with setting up a machine gun. Once the mortars know where you are, they just yeah. The truck's getting the hell out of there. Is he going to come across to try and help his friend? 
No, he's going to come and shoot at the building. I need to move. Forward. No! Thank God I got out. Ooh. Okay. So if I'd still been in that tank, that knockout would have been a heavy morale loss, as it is. I took a small morale loss for bailing out, but I get I don't lose any morale for the um, for the actual knockouts of the empty tank. He missed. So that was the right decision. You see these... Churchills, they're not renowned for their anti-tank abilities, but that six-pounder... That six-pounder is a good anti-tank gun. It's only got a small round, so it doesn't tend to one-shot things, but... And that... Um, and that uh, HQ Heavy Churchill with his 75, he was the one who first put a shell under the shot trap at that turret. I don't think these guys have got the... Uh, I don't think they have the the bottle to try and charge that building. Although they've got the HQ guy coming in the back. Okay, okay, I do need to do something, because if he gets in, he's going to play merry hell with my... These guys are faffing. Absolute faffing. They're worried about that head machine, that um, tripod machine. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on for the for the objective win. For the objective win. Um, how do I get an objective win here? I think. <sighs> I need to taking him out isn't enough if the centaur stays there. He's still within this zone. Oh, so's he. No, I have to take them out. Okay, I have to take out two guys. So you finish this guy off, please. Yeah, okay, good. You, Panther crew, just hide behind your knocked out tank. I need you to survive. You can't stay here because next shot he is going to absolutely destroy you. I need to get him to move though. I just don't think the 20mm is enough. It's not going to do any damage that he's going to worry about. I'm going to go and hide over here. Instead. Do I have a Panzerfaust over here anywhere? No, no, no. No. You need to get in that building. Mm. Can I come across and shoot at these guys? Yes. Out of the window! Oh, that was not good at all. They lost one dude. You keep these guys' head down. Oh, lucky hit! Excellent. Are there any other areas back here? I don't think they've got anybody in this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. These guys, these things are great because they they go almost as fast in reverse as they do forward. Check that out. Ooh. Yeah! Didn't even have to take the other one. Snuck a, snuck an armored car around the back for the win. Wow. Yeah, they took um. They took a lot of casualties there. A lot. 60. I took to almost 30, which is which is quite a lot. Tactical bonus of 2. They had the same morale as me left at the end. It was even Steven. But I managed to take a 6th. A 6th objective. I'm very happy with that. Did they have anything else? Just the mortar team hiding at the back. Yep, yeah, that was it. Yeah, they pushed in. They pushed in. You, my friends, are responsible. Are responsible. You could have taken out. You had an opportunity to run over and take out that um, that armored car. And because you didn't, he went and capped two objectives because you didn't have anyone else in there. You abandoned your what would be your right flank. paid the price for it. Well, I'm suitably proud of myself. Right, end review. Okay. I don't have time to start anything new. Um, I'm just going to briefly touch on 
played uh, a couple of story missions. Did I play a couple or just one? I played a story mission, at least one. I played a couple of skirmish missions. The first one of which I lost absolutely horribly, and the second I won just. Um, the only thing I haven't had time to jump on is campaign. There are four. There's 8th Armoured Brigade. Lots and lots and lots of Shermans. Some infantry, but not quite as many as you would uh, find in some of the other battle groups. Um, but lots and lots and lots of Shermans. I think three, three Fireflies. And later on in that campaign, um, you get reinforcements of uh, Centaurs and uh, three Inch M10s, um, as well as some extra infantry. Um, so it's, it's pretty mobile, but um, you get some more interesting stuff to play with later on, but you got it's, it's quite specialist, that later stuff. It's really all about the Shermans. Uh, 31st Tank Brigade, lots and lots of Churchills. Uh, I believe you get a crocodile and, um, and uh, a heavy Churchill as well, I think, as reinforcements later on. You get a 17-pounder, what uh, often known as Achilles, that 17-pounder uh, version of the M10 which is a great uh, anti-tank weapon. Um, lots and lots of infantry, including some veterans, which is quite cool. Um, the 21st Panzer Division is my absolute favorite. This is my favorite of the campaigns because the 21st Panzer Division are just weird. They have a sort of variety of infantry ranging from awful to pretty good, although most are distinctly average to bad. Um, they get those, uh, those uh, three uh, U304 captured French half tracks, which I used so badly in um, in that last mission. They get a couple of Marders, um, and mainly it's mainly just a few Panzer Falls on the tanks. However, uh, oh yeah, and they get the the really big Pack 43 anti tank guns. Those big, the uh, there's basically the towed version of the gun that was found on the King Tiger. Um, those things are pack quite a wallop, but they are very heavy and very slow to turn. Um, uh, but later on in that campaign, you get uh, reinforced, and the infantry is awful. It's just Ostrippen, but you get um, Jag Panthers and uh, and a King Tiger as well um, for the later missions, which is uh, which I just really enjoy. I just I really love Jag Panthers are a, a big favourite of mine, a big favourite of mine in the game. You got to think about how you use them, but when you get it right, they're an absolute monster. Um, and an SS division, uh, SS Panzer division. This is um, really covering the earlier, really covering the earlier part of the campaign, uh, mainly facing the Canadians. Um, very, very strong units. Very strong units. Panthers, some Panzer fours as well. Um, you get a flame. You get a flamethrower half track, which is a fa fascinating unit. Um, lots and lots of very heavily armed infantry and. Um, and some uh, some armored infantry as well, and some half tracks. Um, you don't get that much. Uh, you, it's quite a small force because all of the stuff in it is is pretty good. Um, the uh, the reinforcements that turn up later on in that campaign are oh, you get some fanatical infantry as well. I think they're in the reinforcements. Um, really interesting. Give you a lot of extra morale. Uh, or a bit of extra morale for your force. Um, and uh, some Jagdpanzer fours, which uh, haven't featured yet. This the, this, this the Jagdpanzer based on the Panzer four. Those are really interesting. They are front arm. They're very low. They're very. They're difficult to hit. They're low. They've got the good seventy five and good armor on the front. They're a bit like a sort of super stug, um, but quite in, you know, quite interesting. That's actually. Uh, that's actually. Um, Historically, a little bit incorrect because, in, in, in fact, the Jagdpanzer IVs of the of, of the particular SS unit were uh, were delayed, didn't turn up till I think July or August. But um, we've gone with the historically plausible of having them turn up when they were supposed to. Um, right. Well, thanks very much for for tuning in. Um, I'm going to call it call it an evening now. Um, I hope to do some more of these uh, in the near future, and uh, I, uh, I I very much hope that you will. Um, very much hope that you'll uh, tune on in. Uh, I'm going to draw this to a close now. I think this ends in about five minutes, so my timing's not too bad. Anyway, thanks again, all.